We don't wash our boxes. We sniff them. We've been doing uh, this. Uh, oh, this is not that bad. The sniff test? Uh. You use like the same ball towel for like your face. And shit. I use different parts of my towel. This is what I did on a double date. You could like send a message to yourself in the future. We swap phones and okay. I sent a message for her in the future. And she sent one for me in the future. She got hers like two days ago. What did it say? What? I said, I want to tie you up and suck your toes. What the f <laughs> use, They use like the shower head, the adjustable one, and they just- Ah, uh, who told you that? Uh, have you? Yes or no? Yeah. Oh, she yeah. goes to Airbnb and she specifically searches for shower heads. Airbnb guy messages you guys being like, yo, the water bill is kind of high. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Down Bad Show. And as you can see here, we have replaced our co-host. Yep. <laughs> we are not loyal at all. The last one was too horny. Yeah, we booted her off the, off the, sh no, she's, a, she's in New York for yeah. this week and, um, and we don't have any more podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, we have a very special guest, a, a good friend that we we uh, met recently, yes. Sahar. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me on. I actually am Rosie. I just dyed my hair. They just can't tell. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are. She's Rosie. I am Rosie, guys. I'm actually not a special guest. <sighs> No, they really said, let's find the closest person we can and just get her on. We need to film something. <laughs> no, we, yeah, literally. no, we just kidnapped her because we just came back from Coachella and then we were yeah. like, yo, we need a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we, let's show her in the trunk. There's yeah. some room. Uh, but no, we literally did just come back from, from Coachella. Like 20 minutes ago. Are you not tired 20 minutes driving? ago. Are you not tired? Huh? Jimmy was driving for like three hours, bro. Oh, bro, I, three, I was driving four hours. God, and damn. before that, I was doing damn. mountains of... <laughs> Now it's up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still in my my Coachella. Yo, I wore this shit three days in a row. You are, yeah, you did wear that vest literally every day. I noticed that the second day, I was like, damn, he's wearing that vest again. You know what it was? He got one compliment from somebody, and he never took it off. No, no, I think I think Maro compliment. It's just this vest is just such a utility vest. Yeah, it is. Where, where you could put anything and everything in there, right? Talking to the mic. Very yeah. versatile. Very, very versatile. Very, versatile. Very, very useful for for festivals. Yes. You know. Um, well, speaking of Coachella, how, how'd you guys, how'd you guys enjoy that? It was magical. Yeah. Game. Okay. Yeah. It was. It was your first. It festival, was my right? first Coachella. Yeah. It was. It wasn't your guys' first. Coachella? It was my first one too. Yours? Yeah. You? yeah. It was. It was my first. We lost our Coachella genuity together. We, you we guys. did. We did. Pop now, that cherry. Now I think you know. <laughs> uh, m most people see Coachella. As this influencer filled, you know, LA Hollywood photo shoot. spectacle, right? Is it is it like that at all? Now you went to more influencer events than I, than I did. I I think this wasn't at all, and I think it was because of the group that we were with. Like mm -hmm. I feel like we had such a good group that like it didn't feel like this influencer. Like people have been calling it like the influencer Olympics. I think yeah. because we had such an incredible, immaculate group of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I don't think it was like that. I feel like it was just core vibes. Yeah, just fun. Yeah. How, did, you, did you have a, a lot of people coming up to you? Um, decent amount. Decent not as much as you. <laughs> not as much as Jimmy. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Hey, hey, Jimmy hey, had a violent no. amount of people come up to me. Everywhere we were walking, I was like, damn, I did not know I was with this A-list. Yeah, you know, like, you know she didn't know you had like a YouTube channel. <laughs> I thought you were talking Until yesterday. <laughs> she thought she only thought you had just down bad show. Oh really? Yeah. I literally went, I didn't know his podcast was that popular. <laughs> And then she was like, it's a good thing I didn't know because or else I would have been a lot more nervous talking to you. Oh, like, oh, no, no, no. No, because no, no, listen, no. first thing I want to point out, Jimmy had no interest in having me on this until I was on Under the Influence. Oh, wait, 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 first of all, no. No, I, no, I, uh, I, no. I barely knew you. <laughs> I just was feeling, I saw Wu Tuck and Nick had come here to do a podcast. I was like, yo, here's a podcast. That's cool. It looks like it's a relationship podcast. Bruh. Seems like something I would be really good at. Bruh. Then we're at Sweet Sweet Tea's place. And then I just go up to you and I'm like, hey, like you have a podcast, right? And you're like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, you should have me on it. And then you're like. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. And then he's like, what would make you good on that? Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold it on. Was like a long I did not say this. Yeah, you, you said it in a nicer tone, but yeah. you were like, what makes you like qualified to be on that? Yeah. You know, and, and, like jokingly, not as like, oh yeah, mm, we have standards and regulations. <laughs> like, uh, you're What's not your cool resume? enough. Um, you didn't have a lot of people come up to you at Coachella. So <laughs> yeah, Jimmy just like, had, imagine, keep it count. <laughs> imagine if after Coachella, he oh, was like, oh, not enough terrible. people came up to her where not having her on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she had maybe demand. four fans. Yeah, I saw maybe one person take a picture with her, she's not coming. Uh, um, Gabe, Gabe had more people go, go yeah. <laughs> But, um, uh, no, it's not like that. Oh my no, no, God. I just oh, it was, that's crazy. Oh, I, I didn't even know you guys knew each other before. Cause I met you when I mm. went 
to visit ETI when the, you filmed with them. Yes, the first time. That's where I told Jimmy, I was like, we gotta get Sahara on it. And then he was like, eh. No, no, bro, bro <laughs> exactly. no, no, what the fuck? No, I'm, I'm, I'm not a dickhead. I swear, I, I've seen your TikTok. Oh, I just spit. Um, God I've, damn, I've, you gonna spit on her after that, you want her to podcast? Disgusting. Now, no. look, I've that's seen, so I've host. seen your TikTok way back when. Way back I, in the I day. think you were the one of the first few like talking to the camera relationship advice. I was. People. I think I was. Yeah. It was me and this girl named Anne. I don't know if you guys know her. Anne mm-hmm. XMP. She's amazing. But I think her and I were the first two like talkers. And it was back in the time when it was like um dancing TikTok was really big. Mm. Like remember it was just dance routine. So it was like if you were a talker and you were good at it, it did something. Right. Mm-hmm. So were you always articulate and what what made you so knowledgeable about because I remember it was uh, it was like you were talking about like what girls like in a guy and yeah. stuff like that, right? Um, what what made you, what inspired you to? Uh, well, to I am a girl, on? so I do know what girls like. Surprisingly, mm, really, mm, who would have mm, thought, mm. right? Um, but I think for me, I was just I've always been really observant with those kind of things. Mm-hmm. Like I watch things a lot, and I'll I like seeing people's like dynamics with each other and kind of observing and taking in stuff from that. Right. So I don't know. And then I just kind of have a way with words, I suppose. And um, right. I was a, I don't know, I'm not even super knowledgeable, but I do think- It, it never came from like personal experience? It To an extent it did. My biggest thing I always say is that whenever I give advice online, it's kind of advice that I would give myself. Right. So yeah, I just think- Do you take it yourself? I try to, but it's very much easier said than done. Especially when you're going through it, when you're in the midst of it. Right. But it's kind of like, what do I need to hear right now? And then I'll film it. And I'm like, maybe someone else needed to hear that too. Mm-hmm. No? Fair. Yeah. Now, um, what was the most viral TikTok? Well, yeah, what was the most viral TikTok that you had? Um, my most viral video ever was like a video about like skin. <laughs> it was just super random. Skin? Oh, yeah, no, no, but, but more <laughs> on, the, on the relationship. <laughs> but on the relationship. I don't know if I, there was one video that I was like really, um, that was like violently viral but i think violently. the series that i had the most viral was the guy secret series for the, sure the, the guy secrets the guy seek oh what do you know about guy secrets that like you know they like piss hold, out. On. Oh, hold on no no, hey, no, 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 no. You, you, you're gonna give me three of them and we gonna confirm yeah, fact okay. if it's true or false well you were at uti so you would have known this you would have heard it yeah had you paid attention i, I know one of them yeah I know one. Okay. like um when there's like shit stains in the toilets yep. y'all pee on that target it Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, calm down. Uh, when, when there's shit stains on the toilet, we pee on them to like, so to, 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 scra- to, 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 to scrape it. Use like yeah. a little hose, you know, two in one. Now, how, how do you know that? She be doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you a guy? <laughs> yeah, I've been doing that. No, no. Um, so I did reveal this on UTI. I got all my information from Reddit. Uh, I went down a Reddit rabbit hole mm-hmm. this period, oh, all this stuff she's onto us. and then I would just text my guy friends and be like yo do you guys do that mm-hmm. and they'd always be like how do you know that and then I'm yeah, like yeah, yeah. uh yeah. no no th- that's one of the most private info like yeah that- that's in a vault yeah. All right, that information is in a vault you- you- you're not supposed to <laughs> or pretending to like grab something from your pocket to like adjust the situation right, right, down right. there oh, man. <laughs> I do a bl- blatant open no no I- I'm <laughs> zip it <laughs> No, I'm I'm glad you brought that that secret up because I've been living with this man for the past month in Japan. Mm-hmm. So we've been roommates and we've been sharing bathrooms. Okay. And when you talk violence, this man. <laughs> sh- oh my god. Are violent. Oh my god. All right. And, you are and, actually an L man no. <laughs> because you are an L man because you know how the norm is like you know a guy goes to the bathroom and she's saying they piss it on no, her. No, right? I gotta piss. He he, he complains. Your your he sh- com- yeah, you're not my bro. Bro, you you leave violent stains. That on is me. not violent. And, and is I not gotta, violent. I gotta, I gotta clean the oh, bowl. Oh, you love with, exaggerating. And bro, I gotta drink uh, 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 so much water to, to store <laughs> good enough. Good. Enough you need game. some more water. I you're got blastoids that sh- <laughs> off the 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 fucking bowl. Yeah, you still complain. Don't do it. No, bro, it, 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 it's disgusting, bro. There's no wonder I didn't oh, bring anybody what, what back. Are you, what are you? Sh- Squirrels and fucking rainbows. What? What do you shit? Well, I shit like like f- f- drops that sh- drop like a like pellets. Like poop, right? <laughs> it's it's like it's like it, it doesn't leave anything on the no, bowl, bro. So no. you tell me you guys only pee on your own shit stains, not on anyone else's? I pee on everybody's <laughs> stains. You are not. I thought you was my boy. He's no, not I, I am. I am your right? boy. That's why I still did it despite. Yeah. Oh, he did. The you service area. You were like, yo, game. 
What the fuck? <laughs> Clean your shit stains. And I was like, I was, piss it off. I didn't know it. I was a clean of a crew for like 10 people. With 10 people? Like yeah, your boy? boy? It, it looked like, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not what you're saying. Imagine the full hours just that. <laughs> yeah, like, we, we could go on this for hours. Um, but. Just applying my AM moisturizer, my SPF 20, before I go out to the streets of Bangkok. And thank you to T. Chanley for sponsoring this week's video because right here I'm using the AM facial moisturizer, SPF 20. It can protect me from this harsh Thailand sun. This can not only protect my skin, but also give my skin a nice little glow. Especially if I'm out here meeting new girls, I, I wanna put the best foot forward. If they're looking at me, I wanna make sure this is presentable. I'm traveling now. A lot of times I'm using the AM moisturizer. Sometimes I'll use a two times per week facial exfoliating scrub. We have eye cream to get rid of the, the dark circles under your eyes. I think every guy needs a skincare routine to be able to increase their confidence. You know, how do you guys think I bring my best self to the table? All thanks to T. Chanley. And because they're sponsored in this week's video, they'll offer you a great deal. Just click on the first link in the description box to get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. So don't miss out on this amazing deal. And now let's get back to the video. But okay, okay, well, what's what's the next guy secret? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Uh um that when like a girl is around that you're interested in, you'll like try to talk deeper in a deeper voice or like try to make yourself a little bigger. That's my subconscious, but yeah, mm. they do do that. A little okay, like, so I wouldn't say deeper, I'd say maybe bigger, like Maybe like, well, it's just a general thing. Like keep your posture up, you know? Well, I think I've seen it though. When I've been around, I'll walk by a guy, <laughs> flattering myself. Um, but oh. I'm talking to like a guy, I'll notice him do like a, oh, and I'm like, oh, okay, you're in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's also true. Yeah. Um, but bigger, so 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 bigger is actually, uh, it, it equates to, to confidence. Mm -hmm. And I think the more space you take up as a as a person or as a man specifically, like even for me, I, I don't know when I started practicing this subconsciously. I don't know. Yeah. But but sometimes I would I would put my legs like this. I would like lean back a little bit. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think take up more space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have myself yeah. take up more space. I gen generally I feel more like confident. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, you better than me. Huh? I just go to her like this. <laughs> you love me? Did you love me yet? Hey, hey, how hey, are you? Hey, What's baby. your number? <laughs> I hit the John Barbell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you fucking bear. What? I don't know. I think the girl, girl equivalent is like either trying to. I Ooh, think the hair. The hair. hair. Yeah. How, how did you guys know that? How did you know that? The hair. They probably like pull out the little like small mirror and check their. Okay, that's lipstick. a little. Okay, relax. That's a lot. That's doing a lot. Every girl do that for me. But I, but I have. She's doing it right now. They, 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 got oh. I have noticed. Come on, my my on Easy. <laughs> I have noticed that like sometimes when I'm like walking somewhere and like a group, a, like a group of guys like walk by, I, I catch myself doing a little like, mm -hmm. like you know what I mean? I'm yeah, like, damn, it's like I gotta, I gotta relax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I also noticed like the girls I can't believe y'all knew that. <laughs> of course. The hair thing. I'm a virgin. That that one's all him. <laughs> that one's all Gabe. I think another one I notice is like when, when when they laugh and they like look away a little bit. Yeah, or they cover their face. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think that's also. Um, What's another one? What are some girl secrets that we know? That, that we know. That yeah, we let's know. see. I'll, let's see if y'all are correct. Mm, uh, <laughs> what? I wish should have. Oh, some girl secrets I know is like say a guy say it's like a girls a bunch of girls at a club or something, yeah. and then a guy tries to talk to one of the girls, uh -huh. and then you guys do like this look to like. Very let much. the girl know. Like, like let's say you we're we're both girls and like Jimmy comes to dance to me. Yeah. And then I don't look at I look at you to you let me know if yeah. he's hot or not. <laughs> and then and then you give me the look and then I push him off. But if you give me a good look, then yeah. I kinda stay with it and turn around. I'm the type of friend where I'll like literally shove him off, my friend. You what? Shove him off. Yeah. <laughs> I get violent. Violently. I get violent, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I think that's a girl secret. What else? Y'all should have prepared more. Huh? I don't know. How do you know the topics? <laughs> I think When a guy buys you something during your period, <laughs> it is like, like super brownie point. I think I think that's common knowledge. Actually, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that is super brownie points, though. It yeah. Is. Like one of my friends, like she like 
always brags about how like, oh, my boyfriend brought me like food. On my, when I was on my period, he brought me like a heating pad and like mm. cuddled me. And like it is. Okay. Getting your girlfriends nice things on their period. Y'all don't understand the pain we're in. Deadass, imagine uh. someone's beating the shit out of you in your right here just constantly. That was and there's blood. Back in the projects. <laughs> and you're emotional. And you feel like nauseous and a headache. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll prepare some girl secrets next time. But, no, but, but, but you're the expert here, yeah. right? Give me another one. Oh yeah. my God. More guys. Secrets. Give me another she really one. really said- Cause this is fun. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I honestly, it's been so long. Cause this was like my 2021 series. I'm trying oh, to shit. remember. What are some other ones we talked about? Hmm. Y'all should have told me so I could have prepared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just came back from <laughs> We're running on two brain like, cells. I don't care. <laughs> we are running on two brain cells. I know. We have two brain cells collectively the, between the three the, of the us. Whole, yeah. The whole four hour drive, I just, I was, bro, I, I just tried everything to keep my eyes open and just drive. If I didn't do that, I would have. Would you have let me drive? Be honest. My, my car? No, <laughs> I barely let this man. Yeah. Yeah. He let me drive for the first time on the way to Coachella. Really? Yeah. That was the first time. That yeah. was the first time. And I whipped that shit. Because my last roommate totaled my last car. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In those situations, does your insurance cover it or no? Uh, yeah, fuck. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it, did. We did just, you? it was like $1,000 though. But keep in mind, we got that car. The next day, he totaled it. So we didn't even have it for 24 hours. Yeah, it was like a brand new 2021. And luckily like he got insurance before leaving the lot. Cause you know how most people, they get a car like, oh yeah, I'll get insurance next week. If we would have done that, we would have lost like 30K for that That's car. actually crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So Did I that have, change your guys' friendship? No, okay. I, I, I love that dude. But I, I have PTSD when it comes to like- Oh, no, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair, that's um, fair. Anyways, we're getting a little off topic. Yeah. Uh, also remember on UTI, we're, we're just recycling UTI yeah. content. Uh, <laughs> this is UTI 2.0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they, you, you guys talked about horoscopes. Yes. Um, and I, okay, I don't know like the exact conversation, but recently we had, when we were in Japan, we went on this like little double date, right? Okay. And we were- And their horoscope release? They, they were like horoscope. We had a horoscope conversation. Right? Okay about how compatible horoscopes were. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in that? Like Libra, so I'm a Libra. You're a Libra? What, what am I? Are you actually a Libra? Yes. Oh, that's October fun. 12th. Wow, okay. Um, no, I do like that stuff. I don't live by it like religiously or anything. Uh -huh. Like I'm never gonna just like cut someone off because they're like a cancer or whatever. Uh -huh. But um, I think it is fun and it is pretty accurate. I wanna say, because listen, people love to hate on it because they're like, meh, 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 like based on the day, you're, the month you're mm -hmm. born, your personality, bro, everyone who's born in February isn't the same, like la da da, whatever. But it's like, there's more to that. And you, some of y'all are just ignorant to that and don't accept that it's fun. Mm -hmm. And it's just because girls enjoy it that a lot of people hate it. But anyways. <laughs> um, so if you really look into your chart, have you guys ever looked into your full chart or no? Yeah. Chart? No. Okay. I, got, I got the co-star. You have co-star? Mm -hmm. I have co-star too. You wanna see it? Yeah. What, what, is, what, what is, do you think is, I am? Is, is, it a, is it a turn on if like you're on a date with a guy? He's like, oh my God, I have, have co-star. What's your sign? And, he, and he's listing all these traits about like, you know. Okay, it is. Oh, uh, Sag and... I don't even know. It is fun, I will uh -huh. say, but it kind of makes me feel like they're ran through a little bit. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Sorry, Gabe. Sorry, yeah, you think I ran through? That's crazy. No, because I just feel like I'm like, why? Do you, why are you into this? Who yeah. showed you that? I'm not into like, it. how many women have you gone through for really? you to be this <laughs> much of an expert? I'm not an expert. Scripts. I just have the app, just because they're like, oh, you should check what your rising moon and sun is, and it tells you more about it. I downloaded it, mm -hmm. and then I was like, word, okay, cool. That's it. Yeah. You want to know some course? No, wait, look at mine first. Okay. I don't know how to navigate it though, but. Let's see. Let's see what his chart is looking like. Okay. So he's a Libra rising and you are a Sagittarius sun and Aries moon. Very interesting. Do you have a temper a little bit? No? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, Libra, so your rising is like, um, what is that? Kind of the way you, the mask you put on a little bit. Uh -huh. So if someone were to guess your sign, they would guess what your rising is. So mm -hmm. I definitely see Libra for you because I was low-key thinking that. I was like, he seems kind of like Libra-esque, but it makes sense because that's your rising. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of like, um, Libras have like really good aesthetics. They're really clean. They're very like put together. Mm -hmm. So that's a really good thing. So Libras, are, but but I'm a Libra. You are a Libra core. So, so yeah, I'm you're that. not a rising Libra though. 
Yeah. Sure. But you are a Libra, so you are also put together. Like, look at this. Right. Look at this setup. Look. Yeah. yeah. You're aesthetic. Yeah. You're wearing yeah. the same vest every day for the rest of your life. Right, right. Aesthetic. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an anime main character. Did Brock change his outfit? No, you shouldn't either. Exactly. The main, <laughs> did Ash change his outfit? He wore the same shit for 20 years. Well, they both had no rims. Yeah. So I don't know if you want to be them. No, nah, Ash bagged up Misty. Ash bagged. Just, Ash did bag Misty. Yeah, yeah, don't Did fight. you guys ever watch those like uh, Misty and Ash edits on like YouTube? No. Oh, I god. did. Oh god. Oh, 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 like the couple montages? To um, um every time we touch. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, the one are, I always watched. Those are cute. But I, I watched other anime couple edits. Like who? Mm, like Kirito and, and Asuna. <gasps> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sword Art Online. Yeah. yeah. Favorite couple. We love. But yeah, so this is an interesting chart. I love Sagittarius though. So I feel like that's why we vibed. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, so they're fun. I don't think there's something to be taken too literally and too like, ew, you're this sign, I'm never talking to you. But yeah. it's fun to look at too. And again, see how many things there are. There's so many things. There's just, every planet you have a sign for it. What are you? Guess. Oh, <laughs> you guys would have funny. no idea. <laughs> I'm an Aquarius. Oh, I was going to guess that. No, you weren't. I really? Wasn't. Huh? <laughs> ah, shit. Why? Budgemon. You put your exes are Aquarius? Yeah. Uh, really? Yep. Well, we're both air signs, so air signs get along really well. Uh, but of, what, what's, our, what's our compatibility percentage? Because that, that was the conversation we had with the, with the girls. Yeah. Right? And we were just like, oh, let's see if we're compatible or not. Apparently, us two are super compatible. Like Sagittarius Sag and, Lib and Libra are Libras. Very compatible, yeah. So Libras and Aquariuses, they're... Compatibility and love is 85%. Oh, damn. Sexual compatibility, 92%. Oh, friendship, nah. 75 Communication, 55 Oh, shit. Okay. Man, you, you ain't that crazy. Let's, let's figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> we got that 75% friendship. <laughs> you want to know some co-star is? Huh? You want to know some co-star is? Sure. This is what I did on a double date. Okay. <clears throat> so she, she asked about co-star. And then I went back and I had to re-download it. Yeah. And then I was just looking at hers and then I saw you could like send a message to yourself in the future. Oh, you can't. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. So then we swapped phones and okay. I sent a message for her in the future and she sent one for me in the future. And then like, yeah, we, and then we left Japan and then wow. she, she got hers recently. She got hers like two days ago. Did she hit you Wait. up? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did us? Yeah. <laughs> what did it say? What? Huh? What Wait, did Wait, wait, say? so you got the message of what she wrote. No, no, no. She got my message of what I wrote her. <laughs> do they give and it I wrote some shit. Do, you give it, do they give it to you randomly? Like at some Yeah, like randomly in the future. Yeah. Oh, I still yeah, haven't got hers yet. What did I write? Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. I took I screenshot it because she sent it yo, to yo, me. Yo, can, can you actually read it? You want me to actually yes. read it? <laughs> read it live on air. Yeah, this is a this is a little teaser to our Japan video. Oh man, this really is. Keep in mind. I don't care if it's corny. Let's see. It's okay. I said, is was full. <laughs> So there's a lot of inside jokes in here, right? I said, I want to tie you up and suck your toes. What the fuck? <laughs> With the crazy face. Start off strong. Since you love that so much, she doesn't love that at all. Okay. Uh, but actually, today in Himeji was great. At this point, we had some great chemistry. Funny and flirty. LA part two. Like, let's go on a date when she wow. comes back. This, this. That was cute. You, you can say for yourself. This emoji and then fucking. <laughs> hey, I want to tie you up and suck your toes. <laughs> w Riz. W Co-Star Riz. W Riz. Put the fellas on game. Honestly, if I got that, I would think about it. And, right? Yeah. And then like randomly, like let's say we go on a date and then randomly you get like a message from yeah. it. Like randomly, randomly. Damn. That shit makes you a day, makes you, makes you laugh. I'm the type that I think everyone is my soulmate. So like that was- Everyone's your soulmate. <laughs> Not everyone, but every time I get really infatuated by a man, I'm just like, damn. Mm. What, what, what makes you really infatuated? Uh, being mentally unstable. The, the <laughs> me you being be mentally, mentally no I'm just kidding I'm just kidding I don't know I just when I I feel like I'm very picky and selective so when I do find something that I like I can't help but be like I, I need want to it. try this out mm. test it how out. do you try it out how do you shoot your shot um how do I shoot my shot um I just be myself and it always works do you like any advances you do like, um hey you want to hang out sometime mm, I don't know I Couple. I feel like when I was in high school I used to try to shoot my shot a little bit mm -hmm. But then I found that lame, and I don't do that anymore. Lame. Like I don't, I don't know. Okay, we had talked about. Was I? Don't, no, I wasn't talking. We were talking about it with Sean. Matter and I were talking about it with Sean. Yeah. Do you guys like bold girls? We like bold girls. Go take it away. I do. 
not like super bold girls, mm -hmm. but I think I like girls that are like themselves, but like a little bit of boldness, like mm -hmm. aren't afraid to like get what they want. Mm -hmm. If like, let's say I don't get the hint or let's say they actually really want it. I've had a bold girl before and I'm like, oh, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. You know? What, what did she do? What'd she say? She, so this was on Halloween and I was rolling that day. This when I told you that I was rolled. Oh, okay. And then. Wait, was it the Halloween that we? Yeah, that we <gasps> met. Shut up. Yeah. Guys, we met at Jimmy's Halloween party and we only discovered this recently. <laughs> and then uh, I, was, Gay film, I met her. I met her, right? One of my friends brought her. I met her and we're talking. And then uh, for some reason, I just felt like a little infatuated. And I was just like looking at her, talking to her. And I said, all right, bye. I'll see you later. But she said I was giving her like the sex eyes. I don't know if it was because I was on She Molly. said that straight up? Yeah, she said that before, like later on. Mm, so was that the boldness? No, the boldness was that like, apparently I gave her the sex eyes when I was talking to her. And then I went away and then she came up to me like an hour later. Okay. And just like got close to me and started talking to me. And then she went in to kiss me. Wow, queen. Okay, yeah. girl, we love. Yeah. Then I fell in love. Yeah. So I I used I used to like bold girls back in high school when I didn't have the confidence to approach it myself. <laughs> yeah. So naturally, if they're if they, if they came mm. up and talked to me, I was like, huh, sweep me off my feet. <laughs> right? Oh, I, I feel that hundred percent. But but now I feel like not so much. I I like girls just who make it known that I can flirt with them. Yeah. Just make it present. Just just do a little of this. Give me a couple of signs. Give me a little <laughs> you know? And be like, ah. She want me. <laughs> Time to get rich. She want me. She want to get Damn. raised up. Just make it, make you feel comfortable enough to flirt with her. Kind make, of make, That's make, girl Make the signs obvious for me to flirt with you. Yeah. That's what are, girl What are some obvious signs? Some obvious signs is if you... The, the the whole the whole laughing looking away stop you, you can't really like she's laughing she's trying to not make eye contact but I'm like I'm right there and yeah. she's just the eye contact alone is making her nervous I feel like that's a that's a tell yeah but sometimes I also met have met confident women who are naturally good at flirting who, who just matches that energy you know, and that's even hotter really yeah the eye contact I'm like oh I we could fuck right now. <laughs> We good. Is that bold to you? Huh? The violent eye contact is bold? Violent eye contact <laughs> is bold. Is bold. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that a good bold or a too much bold? That's a great bold. Yeah, no, yeah. it, it is. It yeah. is. Especially now that I've mastered not mastered, but I've yeah, mastered yeah, eye contact. Here. No, no, no. But I've I've just got more comfortable mm -hmm. than before. Before eye contact makes me so nervous. Yeah. Back in high school, I, I would look away. I can't. Mm -hmm. You know, but now I think I've gotten better. Mm -hmm. I, I, and eye contact with with anybody in general, yeah. right? You could just connect with them mm -hmm. a lot more. Yeah, look at us eye contact yeah, right look, now. Yeah, look at this right now. <laughs> right. So, I think uh, a, a occasion. I don't know. It's what about you? What like eye contact for you? Was it always comfortable? No, I would always like feel like I'm Weird. making the other person feel awkward. Right. Really? Yeah. Because like I used to think like like making eye contact and I always had to like look away because like I don't I wouldn't I never like making people feel uncomfortable. Oh, so like nice. I feel like it felt like a little uncomfortable for me, but then I felt like doing it to other people would make them feel comfortable. So I yeah. would always like dodge it and stuff. But now I got a lot better at it. So yeah, because yeah. there's the eye contact. There, there's I would say friendly connecting eye contact, mm -hmm. but then there's also like a the sex like a sexual about. eye contact, which is like eye contact. I feel contact. like the sexual one is the one where it's like just not breaking. Like you're just so close and like- you And then, I mean? and then you, you also maybe like give them a little up and down, you know, you, you're-, you're as That's something I'm trying to master because on, on the, the day in Japan, she uh -huh. said the same thing. Oh, yeah. She said what? I was giving her the sex eyes. Really? What are yeah. you doing Wait, man? wait, wait, wait. She's verbatim sex eyes. Yeah, no, she said like the eyes, you giving me like, 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 like fuck me eyes. These girls are so bold. They say this to you? Well, I asked them. <laughs> hey, Babe, oh my God. Um, no, I asked what, them. What, what eyes, eyes am I giving you? I don't this? ask the specific eyes. eyes. Um, I don't act, I'm like, hey, did I, did you get sex eye vibes by the way? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, like I'm asked them like- sex eyes? <laughs> not a violent eyes. <laughs> no, but like I would ask like, okay, like, Favorite things are like- Yo, how's my eye game right now? Oh my God. Oh man, how's the eye riz? Can you tell I want to fuck you by my eyes? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I can't tell from a No, girl. I'm saying that's what I'm. you were saying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it look like I'm trying to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm trying to fuck, could you tell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Starts doing it harder. And, and, and but, but she, apparently she responded, oh, stop, you are. 
What her? Yeah. Were you there? No, no, I, I wasn't there when when she oh, okay. when she said it. Yeah, it's probably on video. Oh really? <laughs> we could play it back. Okay. The footage is uploaded. Oh, man. These girls are wild. I love it. Oh well, I guess you are asking. You're like, tell me what my eyes are giving you right now. No, no, no I wasn't asking like that. It was more like like favorite thing about the person, like like. And she said, "You're fuck me eyes." Like you, she, but she said you you hold good eye contact. Okay. Right? Or so I, when did the fuck me eyes come it. into that? When? Yeah. Like how did she bring that up? I don't know. What was the setting? Where where where? <laughs> We're in the sleeper train. Oh, that is prime time. Yeah. To make s- <laughs> make that kind of eye contact, I just, you, know, I just, you know what a sleeper train is? It's very intimate, right? It's a, it's like a. Is it a subway? No, no, no. It's a train where you have private rooms. <gasps> Shut up. And that sounds so magical. They give you a bed and a bed. Yeah, it's Damn. a private room. You you close the like door. Like first class airplanes. Yeah, it's think. Really- like a budget version of a first class airplane where there's a door. Are they really expensive? Not really. It's like really? $150 wow. for like a seven hour ride. But point is, uh, you know, you, you could dim the lights and it could get real intimate in the room. Do people fuck in there? Probably. It's, Actually, no, it's a, it's, it's it's meant for a one person. It's, a, it's Japan too, so I doubt they like- Oh, right, they're really they're nice very respectful. over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we just brought girls along. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So you guys are disrespectful? No, we didn't. Disrespected the culture. Okay. okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, no, we're giving away too much, too much of Japan content. You are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we might have to. Y'all want but to yeah, sex eyes. That, okay, watch I, I think, yeah, yeah, I think an important thing for guys to master is like eye contact. Like, I think that's I how my eye is. I don't know because for me, eye is. I, me riz. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Not I riz. Oh, that's how you riz. That's how me riz. Oh, okay, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know because I don't think I have ever really. Um, I think I used to. I used to straight up just go up to someone and be like, you're very good looking or something, you know? But like, okay. now I'm just like, ew, that's ugly. And I, I want to be chased. I like being chased a little bit. Yeah. So I'm like, now I let them do their thing. But I do pick who I'd like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like I've never um, not picked. It's always the ones I want, luckily. But okay, do you always score with the ones you want? Um, There's been times where like it hasn't uh-huh. happened, but it's never like, I'm never like throwing myself at them, be like, sure, sure, sure. hey, do this, like, right, right, right. let's do whatever. What if it, like, you see something you're interested in, right? Mm-hmm. And you want him to chase you, <clears throat> but then you like you t- like maybe you talk to him and he's not chasing you. What are you doing then? Like, are you like giving him some more hints? Um, I'll usually try to befriend them a little bit first, like just befriend like, them. Yeah, mm. just be friends. Like, just like talk very casually to them. Very um, yeah. however, and then somewhere along the line, I'll do little flirty things. You know what I mean? Like little mm. subtle things. That's like wait. like what? What's what's in the repertoire? No, no, no. Three shots and what's the first move you're hitting? Yeah. <laughs> Three shots in. No. Mm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Three more. <laughs> Three more again. Um, I think something my go to a little bit is I like to um, like come up from behind them and maybe like do a little like three little arm squeezes and like kind of like pinch them in their side a little bit. Oh, like, little little, little yeah. arm squeeze. Little, little like touch I'll walk barrier thing. Yeah. Hey, and then like talk to them very. Uh, okay. Good. Has did anything go down at Coachella when we weren't around? I feel like no, 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 no. no, okay, no. Okay. But 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 what about would would just like strangers and not our friend group, just <laughs> just uh, among strangers. No, to, to anybody. To be like, honest, to? I'm gonna be so honest with you. Me and Maru and Emily had a group chat called Finding Husbands because we were con- we were convinced we were finding <laughs> husbands at Coachella. Really? Yes, we were. So we did this whole. Like, and usually, I'm going to be so honest with you guys, every time I've kind of had that feeling or that intention, I found a new love interest in that time, okay? Wow. Mm. Always. And it's so fun. And I'm not, like, I'm not dating or hooking up with all these people, but it's more sure. just like, he, 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 la da 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 running around in Wonderland together. And maybe like, you oh. found a guy, so, like a number or... Yeah, like, or just like, we'll talk a bit, yeah. blah, blah, blah. It'll run its course, you know what I mean? But it's right. fun. And we were just like, oh, we want boyfriends for the weekend, you know what I mean? And then like... Um, just like us for real. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was so <laughs> for real. <laughs> but then with that trip, I don't know what it was. I think it was just like the whole like familiness of the group and yeah. like the comfortability with everything um, that I kind of just hit the point where I was like, I don't even care about that. I'm like, yes. I'm just, yeah. yeah. I'm Content. Just, Content. And I noticed that too. I low key thought y'all were going to be bringing girls home and stuff. Like, I thought all the guys were going to bring girls home. I thought y'all were, because nah. y'all were, you know. That was not the vibe at all. Except <laughs> like, for my <laughs> man right here. Come you? on. You I did? Didn't, no, I just invited a girl like last minute. Oh, on Saturday you? at like 3 a.m., I just, I was talking to this girl and I said, you want to come to Was it the girl who got sunscreen from me? Yeah. No way. She's really cute. Yeah. Very fun. 
Um, My first time meeting her too. Oh, Coachella God. first date. Bold. She drove. I, I told her at 3 a.m. Like that's when we're like we're talking at like at 2 a.m. Yeah. I was still rolling, but like <laughs> I was talking to her. I invited her. And she was down surprisingly, and then she went to sleep at 3 a.m. Woke up at like seven and then drove to Coachella. Yeah. How was your Coachella date then? It was cool. It was yeah, fun. that's cool. Yeah. But um, I think uh, what is it? I don't know what it was. It was just the vibes of our mm, group. Mm. I literally, I remember at one point, Matter was like, oh, let's go like look for boys for you guys. Because she found mm. a little kind of man. Situ- day no. one, day two? Um, I saw someone day two. Was it day two? It was day one. At like Metro Boomin, I think. <gasps> was that day two? I thought that was day one. No, that's day, that's Metro, day one. Metro Boomin was day oh, one. Oh, right, day one, day one, day one. Yeah, yeah. yeah when no, we came but, late. Okay, I, I'm not going to get into details of her life. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. basically she kind of found someone she was kind of like texting, whatever. So yeah. she was like, let's find someone for you and Emily. Uh, but this was during, I don't know if it was Blackpink or Rosalia. Were you guys there for Rosalia and Blackpink or no? Uh, a little bit. Blackpink, yeah. Yeah, so when I was there, she was like, let's go. Like, we'll find you guys some boys. Like, there's some cute guys over there, whatever. And I was like, I don't even care about that. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of like dancing. I was dancing so aggressively, y'all. You really so were. Crazy. You never stopped. I didn't. I was, but like, I was damn. Literally, and you know, I'm actually a really shy dancer. I don't like Really? Dancing. Yeah. I did not see that at yeah. all. Because <laughs> I feel like she I'm not a... Rolling the hips and everything. I was like, okay, Shakira. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm not a great dancer, so I never do. Like, it, I was literally saying, I was like, I feel like I'm dancing in my mirror right now. Like, you know when you're at mm. home and you like how you dance in your mirror? Mm. It's like feeling so confident. Many, yeah, I was yeah. feeling confident through the room. Yeah, you good. Yeah, so, but it was a really good time. Sorry that y'all had to witness that, but I did put on a show. You're welcome. You did, you did. For free. I remember Eddie was so funny. He was so thrown off by it. And then later on, he was like, I didn't understand why you were dancing so much. But I get it now. Like, <laughs> wait, so typically when you go like husband searching, like what's yeah. like the the plan? Oh, wait, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the girl? What, what did the the girls devise? Like, yeah. do you guys do a, a, like a point of shoe, or do you guys do like, hey, my friend? Over yeah, to like, be honest, it's like an eye contact thing. Like, especially with that guy from Metro Boomin, it was literally like a she was standing next to him. They were kind of talking, and then she looks at me, and I'm like, I was like, yes. Uh, okay, See, I told you, okay, there's yeah, a girl yeah, secret yeah, right okay, there. And then she okay. was like, yeah, and I was like. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> now nah, that man was gorgeous. Good for her. I love that for mm. her. But um, uh, then I don't know. Husband hunting. It's not like husband hunting. It's not like a okay. Which one? I feel like guys do that. They'll be like bad girls. Let's go. Blah blah blah. How do we do it? Well, we'll, we'll scope out the perimeter, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then pop a UAV. Huh? Pop a UAV real quick. UAV? Yeah. Call of Duty. Oh, UAV scanning. <laughs> <laughs> Scan the perimeter. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. but target but, acquired. And, and, and then and then sometimes, right, I, maybe me, I would be like, oh, guys, I think we could go closer to the stage. Yeah. And then uh, low key, like in the distance, there's like a fine shorty I'm trying to like watch. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, and then once we get closer... And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, we can chill, we can chill, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I start dancing, start vibing. It's like, hey, how's it going? Maybe befriend the 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 the, the guys first mm-hmm. of, of the other group, right? Okay, like the guys the, that are with the girls. Yes, the guys that are Damn. with the girls, because the girls, are, like, if we approach the girls first. It's gonna be a little off. You're just hitting on them. Exactly. Yeah. And then so, the guys feel that too. The guys yeah. like, oh, it's just some random dude trying to slide on our girlfriends. And yeah. the issue with raves and festivals it's not like they have a fucking counter or, or they have like a capture on the top of their head like oh single take it right so you don't know yeah. if this girl is actually a, the girlfriend yeah. of, of one, one of the, of the guys, guys. Mm-hmm. so you, that's why the guys if you if you just become cool with the guys you know you could like, by the way just keep it real with me yo who's single here who's looking for somebody y'all say that show me the car I say show me the car facts yeah. yeah i say it i ask but i i'm like really i get real cool with the guys like give me five like, minutes so, what's the situation here <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah like let's let's be honest like you yeah. know that's more straightforward yeah yeah i'm pretty straightforward Very I, bold. yeah i'd be like is this a couples retreat <laughs> you know or is this friends yeah y'all hook up yeah. what's happening <laughs> Which, but, one, which one are you trying to slide on? Yeah. But what about, what, what about you? Well, how, how would I do it? How, how do you, like, from the the second you get into a crowd, it's like, do you do a, just a 360? Oh, she bad. Let me. In a crowd? I've never, like, slid on a girl in a crowd. Oh, okay. Yeah. Coachella was a weird vibe, too. I feel like it was really hard to, like, hit on people. And Loki, I'm going to say, the girls I talked about this, we felt like the fact that we were with such a big group of guys made yeah. it harder for guys to come up. <laughs> yeah, see they that. were literally like, they're cock-blocking us right now. 
<laughs> you see, but you could have told us, like, you know, no, like you're, no. you're like, oh, that, I think moments. that guy's cute. Can you, can you help me? Gabe? These are the conversations you, you guys were having. Yeah. No, no, no. Me and the guy friends were saying, oh, what a wholesome time with the boys. <laughs> yeah. She's like, look with at all the these cock blocks. Yes, we are having a great time together, guys. No, it was High just, five. It was just at one point that I think it was around that time where we were like, oh, should we go look for guys, whatever? Yeah. And then I think someone had said like, oh, I feel like because we're guys, like, we're with so many guys, like guys won't come up to so us. So many handsome guys, they, they intimidated yeah. us. Yeah. So much, they're like, there's too much competition here. Yeah. They'll never be as good and as we, we, we And we handsome too. That's the yeah, issue. That's what I'm saying. That like, was yeah. a good looking group. That we yeah. Were they probably look at our group like, man, he, they dating all they of them. They had no chance. <laughs> yeah. None of them. With any of us. Yeah. Okay, well, no, let's, let's not set the ball too high. <laughs> but yeah, and that the was ratio, a bunch of catches, I will say. And the ratio was crazy. It was like three girls to like 50,000 men. <laughs> 50,000 is crazy. <laughs> it actually was a violent ratio, though. Yeah. yeah. Violent. We keep talking about me. We were ta- the girls and I were talking about all these, how there was like so many M- NPCs in the group. Oh, uh, the like, friends of friends and stuff? In our group? No, not our main uh, group. Uh, okay, okay, if y'all saw my video, the video I posted of the uh, video you took, I cropped it exactly where the NPC ends. Oh. I just left it to who. Are <laughs> <laughs> you watching the podcast like, word? Because <laughs> I was just like, I don't know you guys. I don't want to tag you in this. <clears throat> You're not part of, sure. You're not part yeah. of this. <laughs> <laughs> you can't dance with us. Yeah. So. Now I feel that. I, I guess they only say NPCs because they never like really got to know everybody. Yeah. And like, didn't put themselves out there. And one of the NPCs was kind of mean to Maru and I didn't like that. Really? Oh. She talked about how Frank Ocean's set was really bad. He started attacking her for it. How dare you be an NPC and then be rude to my friend? But I think what it is, it's like, it, 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 if, you, if you get adopted into a group, the, mo- the, the least you could do is introduce yourself, make some conversation. Yeah. That bare minimum, that will... The NPCs that's, didn't even introduce themselves. That, that's so, why yeah. they're NPCs, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bare minimum for you to just be a human, be yeah. a person, mm-hmm. be personable. Mm-hmm. And then they can see like, oh, this guy's different, right? Mm-hmm. Or it at least like kind of adds a personality to the, the character. Right. That's why right. they're an NPC. We don't know any, I don't couldn't tell you any of their names. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't even like get to introducing with them. Like Literally. The I ones think, that I cropped out of the video, didn't speak a word to them. I yeah. think the second I get introduced to a new group, and as intimidating as it could be with a bunch of new people, <coughs> I make it a point to introduce myself. Yeah. Because that way, they feel more comfortable with me. Because they might also just not be comfortable yeah. with a new stranger entering their mm-hmm. group. Yeah. So I make it upon myself to just introduce, hi, I'm Jimmy, nice to meet yeah. y'all. Where you from? Dara. Just a little bit yeah. to, to get a face to the... Even me, like I, I'm not like I know a bunch of you guys, but I didn't feel like I was like in the group at all. So I was like, not uncomfortable, but I was a little nervous, and I was mm-hmm. like, I need to make sure that I'm like, I didn't want to be a burden on anybody. I didn't want to make anybody feel like mm-hmm. um, I was rude or anything. So I made an extra effort to be friendly. That's crazy. So hard didn't even say anything to me when I first walked in. I did it. Nope. What? Damn. When? It's crazy. Super crazy. Damn. You know NPC what? I think energy. I do remember that. Violent I'm sorry. NPC I'm energy. sorry. You're right. That's terrible. I <laughs> okay. should have. But yeah, no. So I feel like if you are going to be in a group, say your name and say hi. Yeah. It's the bare minimum. Because it's like earning like respect, if you yeah. want to say, where it's like, imagine you go into a group and then you just have good energy and you set the standard for like the night by like, mm-hmm. hey, what's up, bro? This is not, hey, how are you? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, boom. Yeah. Before anybody gets to like second think, like, you know, because you come into a group and then you're just like standing around only talking to the person, you know, everyone's yeah. like, oh, who's this? Even blah, like, blah. Um, and then like, yeah. Yeah. You know, like uh, Luke's girlfriend, mm, like mm. I, that was my first time meeting her, but she was so outgoing and like oh, yeah. friendly with me yeah. that like we instantly bonded and vibed. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? She got tagged in the video. She got tagged <laughs> cause she, I liked her. Like yeah. we didn't even have like the deepest conversations on earth, but it was like yeah. still, a, she introduced herself, yeah. talked to me. We made little jokes. It's like the bare minimum. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to NPC treatment if you don't do that. No. But do, do you think it's harder for introverts to do that though? The introverts are like, I, I, it gives me anxiety. Yes, it they, no. they might not be, you know, NPCs. But there's also but, probably other introverts in the group. Yeah. You know, like the girl that I brought, she was uh, introverted. Right. But, she, but I liked her too. Yeah. I did like her. She was very friendly. Yeah. And then like she, I probably she wouldn't go up to like, you know, Nick or like whoever to talk to them because Nick's more extroverted. Right, but she right, went right. to like Eddie because she saw Eddie was okay. whatever. And then like they were hitting it off. Okay. They were, they were, they were having fun talking. Right, right, I was right. like, okay. You yeah. don't need to become best friends with everybody, but yeah. just, you know. Yeah, I think even for Leave a good taste. In yeah, I think about. even for for introverts and people who are a little bit more shy, I think <clears throat> the etiquette of introducing yourself should still be practiced, right? It should. You, it's a learned skill, 
Yeah. That through practice, although uncomfortable, you, you will get better. It's uh, learning to talk, guys, is one of the best skills you could learn, honestly. Yeah. And because I'm someone, I am introverted. I grew up very, very shy. Mm. I literally think I only started getting comfortable talking when I got my first job because mm. I had to talk. It was a like customer service. Right. But like, I remember I would like, my voice would shake when I would like talk to customers and stuff. Like I could not talk at all. Really? And I think one of the, that, like that job sucked. It was McDonald's. But, um, <laughs> McDonald's. Yeah. But thank you, McDonald's, because it got me to learn how to talk properly and like not be as mm. nervous talking. Really? Yeah. Well, how, how old are you at this point? 15. 15? Yeah. And you were just front front register at McDonald's. Just, yeah, yeah. Was, like, I literally was like, I remember, I'm like, I can help you here. Like that's literally how <laughs> I talk. And I remember my coworkers would laugh at me because I would sound so scared talking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell me, yeah, you just gotta throw yourself in the fucking deep end. Yeah. But I, yeah. <laughs> I interrupted you. You could speak. Somebody up. fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say like a tip is like, say you go into a group where you don't know anybody and like you know one person. Like mm -hmm. this is like three easy possible ways. Like. One is like complimenting somebody's thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes one, a compliment, you would just get a, oh, thank you. Yeah, but then you follow up. Like you can use these three any way you want. Okay. You compliment something about okay. them. Like mm -hmm. we're, we're going to Coachella. Everyone's like worrying about their outfits. This uh -huh. is not, the compliment's cool. Yeah. Another one is like, how do you know blah? Because obviously if you got invited to somebody, you just ask, how do you know blah? Like, how do you that know Jimmy? And they're like, oh, this is that. And then, you know, you get to know the person and you find some similarities between right. you guys. And then- yeah, you know, one time I got a compliment and I was about to compliment him back, but then I looked at their fear and I was like, damn, there's nothing good on this. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, nice shirt. Ni nice. <laughs> nice. 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 Nice eye contact. Nice. Nice sex life. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. But yeah. I think you, the best thing you can do is just find something you have in common, something, anything, and just grasp onto that. Mm. And then you're good. Find one similarity you guys have and you can make so much conversation off of that. Like even at Coachella, there's these TikTokers that are um, on the same like management as me. And mm. it was my first time meeting them. But um, one of the girls is a really big K-pop fan. Mm. So I was like, oh, you like K-pop, right? And she was like, yeah, I do. And we had literally like a 15, 20 minute conversation just about K-pop. Yeah. There you go. Not an NPC. You're not a true okay. K-pop fan. Okay, all right, all right. You're true. not a, wh 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 who, who's the Big Bang? An old K-pop group. Yeah, but the first thing, the first she was like, is that like a, like a said, management? Uh, is, oh, isn't that the TV show, I Sheldon like, Cooper? I was like, Big Bang Theory? <laughs> oh my God. No, nah, it's crazy. Cause you know, if, if they have, they actually were supposed to headline, like not headline, but they, they were supposed to be in Coachella three years ago. Really? Before, yeah. When, when, it got shut down by COVID. Shut up. They were supposed to do they it. They were supposed to do it. That's and actually, I, I'll, I'll put you on some songs. Are they, were this. they going to be headliners? Headliners? Like number they, one? They weren't like number one, but they were like the line. They're right probably like 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Because okay, apparently Blackpink was the first K-pop headliner ever. Like the first ones to ever do it. Mm. Like okay, as yeah, the head they, head. The, 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 yeah, they were the head headliners. Yeah. Um, so I was going to say that would have sucked. Imagine if they were going to do it in 2020 and they would have got that title. Mm, but yeah. I, if they weren't the number one, then it's okay. Right, but you, you're, you're Gen Z, so you probably don't know that. <laughs> no, you listen to Haru Haru, you understand. Yeah. Huh? Haru, 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 Haru Haru Haru, that's one of their, Haru, their the biggest, Haru. biggest songs. Oh, really? Fun. And one of their group members, uh, his, his name is Taeyang. You don't, oh, know Tae Tae you don't know who Taeyang is? BTS Taeyang? Oh, um, uh, <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, so Next. now, being a TikToker at, at um, Coachella, right? Mm -hmm. or, or just being a TikToker in general. Um, I, ha I had a question about that. Um, so I had a question. What? Being a TikToker coach, is, is, it, is it harder to connect with like regular people? Like in friendship or dating? Uh, b both, both. Um, I don't think as much in friendship or uh, like just in general, you know, yeah. I think in friendship, you can kind of meet anyone if you just hit it off with them, you hit it off. Literally, I had um, a layover not too long ago and some girl there like knew me and my friend from like TikTok mm -hmm. and we chilled with her the entire time at the airport. We like got food together, we got drinks together, like it was a good time. But dating, mm -hmm. I think it was a little complicated. Mm. I, 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 diff, I told you about this a little bit already, but um, I think it did complicate my dating life much more. Okay. Did, yeah. did how about for you guys? <clears throat> uh, so I, so wait, b before we get to us, so would you rather date 
an influencer as well? Like someone who's doing the same thing as you? I think so. Really? I think so, yeah. Not in the sense that like I want to make couples content. Like I'm more of the sure. type I want to be like, you know. Hey, I, I want to make couples content. Still have your own. I don't like couples content. <laughs> I think it's very cringy. <laughs> Good morning, babe. <laughs> yep, that's me. Babe. No. Like yeah. you, man. I agree, I agree. The only one I like is Andy and Michelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make it Some people do out. it well, but I mm. see so much corny stuff. And I'm I'm not the type. I don't like fabricating things. I yeah. don't like yeah. act like even I have some influencer friends where they're like fake certain scenarios for content. I'm like, oh I don't God. like maybe I'm just not in influencer world enough, but I right. don't like that. I don't right. like faking something, faking yeah. a like I, I like skits, uh-huh. but like I don't want to do like an experiment or whatever and yeah, like yeah. fake it. So mm-hmm. so so what kind of? So you you just would like to have have your man just I understand like, your world and do the same. I thing. I like a um, private but not a secret. I like that vibe. You know what I mean. But like uh-huh. I don't um, I like social media guys for that. Like I feel mm-hmm. like you can connect more. They understand certain things. We understand blah blah blah. You understand you got to do certain things for content. You got to understand you do blah 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 for whatever. But um, I. What is it? I also, I don't like, I'm really scared of like being used or like being um, just like a flex to people. Mm. Not saying that I'm like all that, but like, mm. I don't like the idea of someone being able to like, like, um, has a guy done that? Charm me over. And it hasn't happened yet, but it's because uh, I've been so like vigilant and careful. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But like, um, I just don't want someone to like, do all this, make me feel really special, do whatever, just so that they can like go to their friends and be like, look at this girl, verified 4 million. Um, uh, I hit that. Like that's so not mm. like you know what I mean. I have fears of that kind of stuff. Like I think guys would be like, I hit this regard. You, you know, like guys do that. Just, do what? just like just, make it up. Uh huh. No, like just that? flex the, that 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 the, the, the girls that they hit. Yeah. That, no. The, boom. That's a fucking guy secret. I didn't know that though already. But like, I don't care who you are. What, what, like, if you are attractive, we are flexing to the boys. Okay. But like, <laughs> not like a flex, but like I actually got with this. Like, I don't know how I did it. But you guys like, do that. Uh, not like every girl. Because yeah, you're some of them ugly. <laughs> no, 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 they always cute. They, they always cute. They always cute. But like, I don't know. I don't like flexing or anything, but it's more like, what do you think about her? Leo? See, I'd rather you flex me because you think I'm pretty or whatever yeah, than yeah, to yeah. flex me because you're like, oh, she has so many followers. No, that's weird. Yeah. That, that's, that weird. Is that's weird. weird. And that's, weird. that's the one disconnect I've had in like the dating world where it's like, I'm just scared that I just, you only see me as like this. Mm-hmm. Right, right. And I also feel like when you've been on social media, and you guys can probably relate to, like, to an extent, people have this, like, preconceived notion of you a little bit. They have this idea of what you're like. Mm-hmm. And then when you don't match, match that, that, it, like, energy. throws them off. Right. But it's, like, not that I'm a character. I don't think I play a character or anything. Uh-huh. But, like, I don't want people to think my entire existence is Zodiac signs and all the stuff that I say in my relationship right. advice right, videos. Right. Like, oh, it's same. like You're a little bit more chill, too, when, when you're... I mean, this is the first time we filmed something mm-hmm. together, right? Yeah. But like throughout the whole weekend, yeah, you were just pretty chill to, yeah. to kick it with. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but do you, do you think so? So here's the thing, right? Flex because I'm hot. I, I like think, that. <laughs> I I don't think dating an influencer person is cool. Is you a don't good want to time. do it? I don't think so. Did you do it? I did, and I I'm not I'm not pointing pointing any names, but I ge- generally. Just speaking on behalf of a lot of influencers, I think we're narcissistic people. I think we love ourselves a little too much. We make content about ourselves. We're YouTubers. Constantly filming ourselves. Constantly think, mm, how do I look? Mm, I see a fucking window. Oh, damn, how do I look today? Right? And like constantly looking at ourselves, constantly telling people, uh, telling the world about ourselves. Like we love ourselves. Yeah. And then if I'm dating this other person who loves themselves too much, like that's not a relationship. A real relationship is about giving, is about attending to the other person. So you want to love yourself and then your partner to only love you enough. No, no, no. no. I want to love my partner. I, I'm <laughs> self-aware enough to know that like I might have a lot of these narcissistic traits that I'm mm-hmm. working on in a relationship. In a relationship, I want to focus yeah. on them. I like if we're cuddling in bed, I'm not on my phone. I want to like yeah. talk to you. But I feel like sometimes it's not the other way around. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, sometimes uh, they've maybe the, they get too caught up with their their, their own life, their own stories. Their, uh, I, I, yeah, I don't know. It's... I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but I don't think narcissism is necessarily a bad thing. I think too much of it is, but I think 
all successful people are mm -hmm. a little bit narcissistic. And I really truly believe that. Yeah. But I have a lot of friends. My one friend, Spencer, she's amazing. Um, like, she's one of those people where like, she has the, we all have the narcissism. I'm narcissistic, whatever. She has a little bit of the narcissism, but like in like the most beautiful way ever. Like, it's not like a way that's like, me, 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 me. Mm. It's like a, um, it's like a me, but like, how do I take care of me while like taking care of, me? when I take care of me, it helps me take care of other people too. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, mm. I don't know. I find that narcissism isn't necessarily like a bad thing. Thing. Okay. And I think you can be narcissistic and still love people. Because you even admit it right now, like you are a little narcissistic. We all are. We all are. Mm -hmm. All social media people are. And anyone who tries to claim they're not, they're lying straight through their teeth. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and it's not a bad thing. It's not. But um, like you would be able to love someone even if you are a little narcissistic. Yeah. I, yeah. So, but I think it's just having self-awareness to know yeah. like, oh, maybe I'm doing a little too much of that mm -hmm. right now. So what, I need to give my what, partner. What do you think... Um, cause that relationship to be bad in the narcissism sense? Um, on my end or like on- Both. I think, I think on, on, on her end, it was, it was a lot of like, just talking a lot about herself without attending to, okay. to like maybe my day or what mm -hmm. I'm going through or like asking deeper questions about me. Whereas like, um, yeah, I, I didn't notice this be before where it's like, I think LA people just start talking about themselves without like be, being asked questions. And, and like, usually I like a, a, a constant flow of back and forth. Oh, mm -hmm. what about you, right? Or, hey, like, what about your da da da? But I don't know. Like, you're right, that is so annoying when you're just talking to someone and like, that's how- that, talking about themselves. That's whenever I feel like um, horrible on a first date is when you keep asking them stuff and then there's never any like, yeah, what about that. you? I'm like, yeah, uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Mm. Mm. Like, how many yeah, uh-huhs do I have to give you before you shut up? <laughs> I think that's an ick for me. When, like, because I like to think of, like, questions to, like, get to know the person. And then, like, I'll ask those questions. And then, like, I'll just get nothing back. It's like, like, you don't even care to learn about me. Yeah. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. Yeah. Maybe I'm too nice. I think the other person's too nervous or whatever. But I guess it, they could also just not care. I will say, though, I had one situation where I was very violently nervous and it was like it was during covid and this guy and i had been texting a little bit we had an amazing conversation like literally I'll, to this day this is still one of the best text conversations i've ever had what's so amazing about it we just got so deep and he's told me that i was the best that was the best text conversation he's ever had with a girl mm -hmm. too but um we just got so deep so quick like about like okay Summer, i'll transformers i'll be honest i think i'm gonna give myself the credit for this because i was incredible with this <laughs> we texted we were texting and it was about to be the new year and I think I said something along the lines of like, um, how do you feel? And this was during COVID, right? Mm -hmm. Miss of COVID. I said something along the lines of like, how do you feel that like um, COVID helped you like grow and change? And okay. then he was like, damn, we're getting that deep this quick. Yeah. That was literally, I think my second text to him. Oh. Yeah, it was like, hey, it's blank. And then I was like, oh, hey. And then he's like, blah, blah, blah. How are you? Whatever. I'm like, oh, I'm good. And I was like, oh, so how do you feel like this COVID thing? Like, damn. He's like, yeah. word, okay. Uh. Dead ass. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, and then it, we literally texted until like 4 a.m. Just like paragraphs on paragraphs oh, on paragraphs. I thought we were going to be in love, but we're not. What he actually DM'd me today. What did he say? He invited me to some party, so. Uh, damn. You what going? made you guys stop talking? You going to that party? I'm going to go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, today? Oh, we going to rekindle that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's on Thursday. We'll see. We'll see. Literally, I'm going to land and then go. Okay. We're going to see. Because, no, the thing is with this guy, um, he's magnificent and gorgeous. Probably one of the prettiest men I've ever seen in my entire and, life. And deep conversations? What's wrong? I don't know. We went on a couple of dates. It was good. Um, but I think I was, I was not as confident as I am now, I think. Mm. And I was really nervous around him because he's so beautiful, you guys. I'm okay. not joking, this dead ass, the prettiest man I've ever can we seen. See? Can I, should I actually show you? Yeah, you can show us, yeah. <laughs> My phone's over there, can I get it? Yeah, yeah go okay. for it. I'm curious on Sahar's <clears throat> violent type. Damn. Have you ever been in front of a girl that is so gorgeous that you are quaking, shaking? Yeah. In your boots? Yeah. Who? What is it? I don't want to air it out. <laughs> oh, okay. I've had that. I'm like, damn, why is she still here talking to me? Damn, what, which girl have I gone on a date that's... That I'm like, I don't think I'm... Yeah. <laughs> how, how did I get this part? Right. Yeah. 
There you I just, need to find a good picture of him because as although he's beautiful, some of his photos don't do him justice. <laughs> okay. This is a very uncomfortable photo for me to show you guys, but Really? Why? <laughs> you'll see. Oh, that's you? Oh. That's not me. <laughs> that was it? Imagine if I was that thick, I would be living my life, okay? Uh-huh. I need to show you. She a wasn't kidding about what she said in the car. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> what I said in the car goodbye. This isn't my type, but he is the most beautiful man I've ever spoken to in my entire life. Oh yeah, I don't know how to find his page. Okay, yeah, this is what his tagged photos. I'm sorry, bestie, your main page was not giving what it needed to give in this exact moment. Um, but he is a model too, so I mean, of course, mm. obviously that's a model. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I was just very intrigued by like his facial features. Like he just has very crisp features, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, you know what no. I mean? Like very prominent eyes. lips, Not the eyes. sparkling eyes, yeah, yeah, yeah. eyelashes. No, that's Seriously. the dude we lose into. <laughs> that is always the man we lose into. No, but he, he got game though. I feel, I feel like what he's six foot light skin. Okay, he don't. <laughs> maybe he don't got game. <laughs> you know, he not that funny. He don't look that funny. He did. He was a little, um, a little shyish, mm. but he would like throw out the occasional riz, which was cool. Right. But I think he got a little icked out by me at some point. Really? How? <laughs> Um, I don't know. It was just after I went, how many dates did we go on? We went on a few, and then afterwards, I feel like he just stopped texting me as much. Mm. I was obsessed with him for like a year, and then I finally I got damn. Yeah, <laughs> cause damn. But like, not like obsessed, like texting. Like I, my yeah. type of obsessed is I'm like I thinking about. I just th I thought about him well, a lot. Like, yeah. like two a.m., three a.m. every night. You're like, oh, damn. He was oh, just was like he was my right default now. crush. That's what it was. Default uh, crush. Yeah. Uh, so yes. it was a crush because like good conversation, attractive, it was, or whatever. Yeah, I was just like, you're beautiful. But he's not funny though. No, I, he I is funny, but like- I promise you, he's not funny. You guys are funnier, huh? but you guys are funnier. Oh, yeah, yeah, she yeah. finally said it, there you go. Yeah. So now we can move on, let's go. He's, <laughs> he was funny, but like I, he was also very nice. You know what I mean? Like very uh -huh. nice. I was like, you're beautiful and you're nice. Yeah. Like genuinely nice, not like manipulative nice. Right. But was, was he like I, thrilling I, to I be around? Like he, I feel like he is so attractive that the littlest things you oh my. He's so nice. Yeah. Mm. Like, man just opened a door. Man just said, what the how's fuck? your day? Okay, you know, I will say, your group did set my standard higher for how I'd like to be treated by men by now. Really? Because uh -huh. he acted like you guys. Like, to be honest, everything you guys do for, like, uh -huh. the girls in the group, he acts like that. But oh, no, on. Quick, quick, hold on. Yeah, oh, come on, now. Let's pause right there and just start naming off all the things we did this weekend. Yeah, come on. What did you notice? The first arc? things first. The men didn't let the girls pay for anything, which was amazing. Not that that matters, but if a guy does that, that means a lot, especially considering you guys are just our friends. It's not yeah. like you guys are just trying to fuck us and like all this stuff. Like, no, no, no. Just, Imagine. <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah, for Damn sure. Damn it, they didn't fuck us. <laughs> a Sunday, we're like, so, <laughs> I spent $237 inside. Oh, meanwhile, we have a guy's group chat. Damn it, it didn't work. <laughs> My room is right next to this. <laughs> Oh. So am I seeing you with somebody? <laughs> or do you want to like Venmo me? We give her the red pill. No, no worry. <laughs> We're still telling of the, the request, yeah. the Venmo charges. Sending a picture of all the receipts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, be man. like either get in the room or send us. <laughs> no, no, but, but what else? Um, you guys are very chivalrous. I've just said this. I mm. said this to Nick and to Vit a lot. Very, very chivalrous people. Mm. And you take care of everybody very well. What you guys do that I love, you guys care so deeply about each other. And it's so like beautiful to see. Cause mm. you, and like, I've never felt so cared about in such a, like a group of people that I've only just kind of met. Mm. And that's really a lovely feature, like thing to have. Mm. So never lose that seriously. Cause even like when we were doing that really long walk, basically mm. after Coachella, we had to like walk for a really long time for um, Nick and Wu Talk to come pick us up. Yeah. And, like Eddie literally like goes to this like random driver thing yeah. and is like, oh, let's get the girls just like whatever. He paid like a hundred dollars just to get the girls to go home. 150. Huh? 150. 150. I didn't know. Sorry. I didn't try to undermine it. But um, like he got us an Uber just because he was like the girl's feet hurt. Like yeah. let them go home. Mm -hmm. A man has never done that for me. Okay? Really? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Wu Tuck and Nick like drove up maybe three minutes after you guys left. <laughs> Not three minutes, maybe like seven. Okay, okay, I'm, seven. okay I'm exaggerating. Maybe, maybe yeah. like five, seven minutes. Yeah. But that's seven minutes. I feel minutes, so bad for Eddie. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Nah, a, but it made it, it made the ride more comfortable for us too. Because like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but but we still, like I, think, I think, I think, I think just throughout the whole weekend, I think different guys have just yeah. set the standard. And I think that just, it's just set the standard for all men to just mm. treat. And you guys women. do it without um expecting anything in return, unless. You know, secretly. <laughs> um, 
But that's what's like the beautiful thing about all you guys is like, I feel like um, you do it unconditionally. You know what mm. I mean? You don't, even like I was getting really overwhelmed. Vit took me for a walk for like 20 minutes to mm. help me calm down and feel better. Did me and Jimmy do anything that you noticed? Okay, now I'm getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's okay. We didn't do okay. We didn't no. do shit. No. <laughs> the, you guys also, you took a lot of videos, which is a very nice thing to do. Oh, yes. Because you, you made the memories for us that feel so close video. Best yeah. video I've ever seen in my entire oh, life. Thank you. Thank you. And even like Nick like took Eddie out of the crowd during Blackpink because Eddie was getting like overwhelmed. Yeah. Like yeah. you're not just good to the girls. You're good to all of each other. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, then, and then Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Good, good vibes. What a nice. Just yeah, nice. Mm. Yeah. Nice. I'm winning this right now. I got I got more Jimmy. things. I also went out with Eddie too. Oh, Jimmy. I, I skipped Black Pink to, to go out with Eddie. What did you do, Jimmy? No, no, I'm not kidding. Nice. I'm, I'm not nice. getting another invite. That's what, what I'm getting. <laughs> NBC. NBC uh, right here. Nah, Jimmy called some Ubers, you know? He called the Ubers. He um yeah. <laughs> I I look look the following day I asked what everybody wanted from the grocery store. Yeah. I bought dino nuggets, I bought snacks, I bought water, I bought <clears throat> well, you bought Gatorade, but um oh, fuck. Man, it don't it, it don't it don't slap if I if they don't notice without me saying it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do it. No, you don't no, you we brought, just didn't you do brought... it for her. We just didn't do it for her. Me, yeah. Yeah. So you hate me. No, the other guys had you. Oh yeah, yeah, we had a group chat where we're like each girl had to get equal amount of of, of <laughs> yeah, chivalry. Like, you chivalry. three, sorry. Yep. You three, Maru. I was you focused three. on Maru and Emily. Yeah, I was uh, taking care of them. Uh, Who are my people? What? Who are my people? Nick and Vit. <laughs> Nick, Vit, yeah. yeah, 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 got a yeah, sign. Yeah. The sign chivalry. I don't think no. I think Nick was more on Maru. Maybe. I think Vit and Wutok were me. All right, mm -hmm. right. I got it confused. Yeah. Yeah. Asians, you were just like, oh, couldn't tell. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, I mean, no, shout out to Wutak definitely, like, he he, he took care of people too. I, I, Wutak I, was so father this weekend. Yeah. He took such good care of everybody. Yeah. Incredible. I think, I mean, yeah, he uh, just planned the whole trip in general. No, yeah. he did everything. He got us to go get food, to like have everyone set up, like unconditional. I'm telling you, you guys, these people are unconditional love. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Now that you pointed out, I kind of started to look back at it. Cause like during it, like it just seems normal to me, but then I'm like, damn, we some valid group of guys to do that. Yeah. You guys are, seriously. Very, even like sometimes I'll go on live and like people will come in and be like, oh, are those suburb talks people like actually nice in person? Are the UTI really? people nice in person? And I literally could only say good things about all of you guys. And we only recently met, but same goes for you. Like I could only say, I have nothing bad to say about any of you. Mm -hmm. Incredible people. Yeah. We should, you, you guys, the guys watching at home, you guys should take care of the women in your life. Unconditionally. Just, unconditionally, without trying to <laughs> fuck them. Uh, that, that's just like. No, because yeah. I actually have a lot of trauma from that, from like guys where like they'll do something nice for me and then I'm like, I feel like obliged to like do no, something for they them. They just, men should just take care of Men should, too. but yeah, they, they yeah. don't. You guys are the first group I've met where I, I genuinely, and this guy, to be honest, where I, ge wait, no, he actually did something that was kind of weird too one time, but, oh. um, but I genuinely felt like you weren't, like, there was no ulterior motive. Like, mm -hmm. it was just to be nice, because you actually care. Yeah. And like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, a guy guys should ca care for each other as well, but I think- You guys th do care for each other. You take such good care of each other. Yeah, I think naturally, I think men should just b instill this habit of, of taking care of the women in their life yeah. and, and become a provider. You know, I yeah. think naturally that's just an attractive quality. It's period. such an attractive trait to have too. Yeah. You guys literally like up yourselves like 5,000 points with just the way that you act, honestly. Mm -hmm. All right, Excuse enough, me. enough of this. I'm let's not like deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's get uh, the gross stuff now instead uh, of the cute stuff. Yep. Screw being wholesome. When are you getting married? I'm just kidding. After 25. After 25? Yeah, I don't know when, but after 25. Do Do you think? Wow, that was a crazy shit, dude. Uh, <laughs> but do you think at at that point you will be, um, like the clock is kind of. Kind of a little bit that's little. why yeah like honestly realistically if i was really thinking about my life and especially <laughs> you guys being like old huh <laughs> you guys being a little elderly uh, wow um we're old to her yeah <laughs> no we're ancient bro we, we yeah, yeah. no no 20 27 yeah. is is ancient yeah i told her my age she said ew yo round up to 30 <laughs> uh, yo 27 uh, round up that's, 30. Uh, that's 40 pushing 30. yeah yeah 
So, but like seeing you guys and even the group that we were with was like, again, talking about the group again, but like there's a lot of 27 year olds there. And I realized, I'm like, you guys have such a youthful energy that 27 maybe isn't that old. Mm. And maybe by 27, I'm still not going to be ready to be married and yeah. have kids. Because yeah. like looking at you guys, like looking at you, yeah. I'm like, I don't think when I'm like this, I'd want to be married. Like for the longest, when I was younger, I was like, oh, I want to get married at like 21. Yeah. Turn 21 would rather die and then i'm like 25 maybe mm -hmm. but even 25 i'm like no that's so close that's two years i'm okay yeah watch me at 25 you're like you know what maybe close 30. Um, now i'm thinking even right now i think just right now in this moment i decided 28. 28. yeah mm, 20, 28, 28. Yeah. you got a couple more months i got no, no, no I, I think i think men and women are, are, are different. so different yeah, yeah so men's like a plus five yeah because <clears throat> yeah. like i have to think about if i want kids i have to mentally prepare for that if yes. i want kids i should be Trying to figure it out in that time, you know? Mm -hmm. I should, fight, well, ideally be in a relationship that will lead to marriage yeah. at 28. Mm -hmm. So at, at one, by the time I'm 30, 31, by 26, I got to find that potential husband. Yeah. So that by 28, where that ring is there, and by 30, that kid has popped out. <laughs> yeah. Is there like an unspoken like timeline for a girl to like settle down or if they feel like their time's running out? I think the only real timeline is the kids thing. Because it's like after like, I think 35, like even like once you kind of kind of like 33, it's going to be harder for you to get like pregnant. I don't know for sure. So don't yell at me because I'm not 100% positive. But I think that's the only thing that makes us feel like rushed. But I will say, I feel like with the generations passing, people are getting married like later and later. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that as I age and like what we're talking about with the music, mm -hmm. I hope that it keeps getting pushed to like later mm -hmm. so that it's like normal for a girl to get married at like 33 and it's not like, oh, she's old. Right, right. Cause I mean, truthfully, once you get a kid, you you're, gotta spend all your energy, take care of that little motherfucker. Done. Yeah. All right, you, you, your, your life <coughs> is now no longer revolved around you. Your life is around that kid now. If you're a yeah. good parent, at least. <laughs> right. it. So it's like now we, we, we just started making money. Right, we now have this freedom to to travel, to explore. Yeah, like, like, like let me do this for a couple more years. Yeah. No, and what's your parent? You're a parent for life. You're never not a parent anymore. It's yeah. not like you just like take a break and be like, bye. Let me go on a trip. Even on your trip, you're gonna be thinking about that kid. If you're a good parent, you're gonna be anxious, being like, oh, is my kid okay? Is my kid like? When I've talked to like young moms, especially, they tell me like. Um, um, that like when they're not with their kids or they're doing something that's supposed to be like fun, going on a trip, whatever, mm -hmm. they're still thinking like, is my kid okay? Are yeah. they eating? Are they doing this? Who's with them? Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm not mentally ready for that. I'm a narcissist. I don't want to deal with that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to give a fuck about it. Yeah, I, I don't think about no kid while I'm at the club. I gotta put me first, Lucian. I gotta put me first. Uh, and, then, and then the crazy part is, it's like, who, who's, who's, DNA, whose genes am I mixing it up to mm. make that kid? And is that person gonna be a proper par parental figure as well? Pa yeah, parental that's like the main thing I look for. Yeah. Like qualities of like a wife. What 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 are some qualities of a wife? I feel like um very like caring and nurturing mm -hmm. in a sense. So like very motherly traits. So let's say like um, Freud would love this. Like someone is like th th there's a Freud. <laughs> Freud? Oh, from psychology? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like, let's say like, you know, like, for example, like how we take care of our group. Like, mm -hmm. like, let's say like you take care of like Marlo because she's feeling a little sick. You get her something or you make her a tea or something like that. Just like very like motherly traits. Why I think it's like, that's cute. You know, like- Did just, I do any motherly traits? No, you so, narcissistic. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, so, so we actually have some peer review. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> In the group chat, we, we, we finalized it on the drive. <laughs> yeah, we actually have some some Yelp reviews for the okay, girls. Okay, let's hear it. Um, you know, I I think I think it would be nice, right? It, you know, we're 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 taking care of the uh, the expenses, da da, da. and then maybe, you know, there there some some chef it up. You want us to cook <laughs> in the kitchen? Oh, we did cook and clean. Yeah. We, that's the crazy that's part. Crazy. Bro. We cooked and Listen, I'm vegetarian. Y'all want me to cook bacon? I don't even know how to cook bacon. I don't need bacon. We ain't ramen. Well, I didn't eat, but. Okay, well, I don't, everyone else was making the ramen. I'm not going to step in and be like, let me do it. See, but that would be attractive. What? Make, if I was like, make us no, eggs. you know what I did that I think y'all aren't giving me enough credit for? Uh. First of all, I took pictures for everybody so we would have a lifetime of memories to have physically. Oh, she did bring the Polaroid camera. Yeah, uh, and Jimmy called me on that. Cute. There was not one picture of me, though. There was not one picture of me. You were in one of the pictures, actually. We'll see. Yeah. I gave it to 
Do I have it? Not myself. That's crazy. Where did, it, did I give it to someone? <laughs> no, no, you, you, I did, you, you gave it to me. I gave it to Eddie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You are in one of them. Oh. Yeah. Yes. It was yeah. you Somewhere three. You two and Eddie together. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then um, were you guys there when I had to find the directions to the taxi, to the car? You guys was, weren't there? That wasn't in the review. Day two? Was that day two, maybe? Okay, oh. they weren't there. But one of my things that I'm very... Um, I oh, I was there. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Say, that was good. Was I, that I was not impressed. good? I was impressed. I was impressed. Really? I think, like, on the way, leaving day two uh -huh. or Coachella, she would, like, talk to any, like, person that looked like they worked there and was uh -huh. trying to, like, figure out how to find directions. To the and I was oh, the reason right. we got... Yep, you got that Wutong one. Got you got us that lost one? for a second, and you then I one? got us on track. Yeah. And Wutong literally looked at me when we saw the sign, like... One of the security was like, okay, you're going to go straight down here, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to see a sign that says taxi. When you see that, you're in the right spot. Yeah. I was like, okay. So then when we see that sign, we talk, looks at me and you're like, he's like, you did it. And yeah. then we like high five. Yeah. See? Stuff like that. Motherly. Motherly, yeah. But, but I, now I it's like... not as fun because I had to pat myself on the back for it. No, but I did notice it then. Yeah. Now the Polaroid thing, that was cute. That's cute. I yeah. gave the compliment. You yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I would have if I was in more, at least two. <laughs> But Dave um, is petty. Jimmy, it, how many were to, you even in? I don't huh? know that you were in that many, were you? And, and what? The, the Polaroids? No, I, I, was, I was. We were both in one. Yeah. That, and he's shared. not crying the way you are. Well, yeah. I'm he, no, no, more no, in tune with my emotions. No, okay. it's, it's not okay. even that. It, it, Gabe has extreme FOMO. Gabe, okay. Gabe, 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 yeah, yeah, Gabe, you, you have, you have extreme I don't think it's FOMO. No, no, I, I think it's more I like, genuinely think you want to be included in everything. Oh, who wouldn't? And, 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 who wouldn't? And, and, huh? Who wouldn't? Because I don't. Uh, it's not that big a deal. Like I, I missed out on a moment. It's oh, just, even though you ended up going to Coachella the day of and bought a three day ticket. Okay, got a first, ticket? first of all, I didn't. I didn't buy the ticket. <laughs> okay, but you got all right, it. All right, the girl that I met in Hong Kong gave me the ticket. Yeah. All right, but Damn. you felt FOMO. You wanted to come. Huh? I, I was because originally like, it was just no, me going. No, a ticket's just landed on my fucking lap. I'm, I'm, I'm not landed. Gonna go. Hey, can I get you? Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> you got no, no, please, no, she, 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 please, 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 please. Yeah. DM me, bro. She DM me. You see? I got you with Coachella tickets. J Jimmy, Jimmy got FOMO, but he he don't want to like invite himself. Mm. I want what? what yeah, you, you just want people to be like, yo, Jimmy, come, please. No, no, it's not even that. Yeah. No, I, I texted. I, I think I called Wu Tuck. And then and he said, like, What you doing this weekend? <clears throat> and Wu Tuck's like, Oh, we got plans. Word. What? Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what plans? <laughs> yeah. What are you guys doing? Who's going? Yeah, I'm, I'm back in town, by the way. <laughs> oh. What's happening? Wu Tuck's like, Yeah, um, was that Eddie? Oh, I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> yeah, we, I, I don't know know how to... we have a full house, so yeah. <laughs> oh, you have plans? Oh man, we got plans too. Oh, oh yeah. Great. Oh, you got plans? Oh, same. <laughs> Word. So you, you have. I hope your plans are good. <laughs> I actually had plans, but they just got canceled last minute. <laughs> oh damn, that sucks. <laughs> damn, bro. I'd be tight if I was you. But my plans are still on, so I'm busy. I gotta go attend to my plans. No, no. What time? What time? What time? Y'all no. talking shit in the group chat about us not cleaning a cookie? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. No, no. There's no Coachella. Okay, I was going to say. There's no Coachella one. There's no, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm sorry. I have a topic. I'm still on a couple of brain cells. Yeah, I have a topic. Go for it. It's kind of relating to what we were talking about yesterday, mm -hmm. where it's like you, where it was like me, you, Emily, and Maru. Yeah. And like I told you guys, like, ask me questions. You're curious about guys. Mm -hmm. So like, what are like, try to find some secrets or like, question or anything that you felt a little complicated about how guys operated and did yeah like we, we could probably try to answer you want me to do, want us to do oh this? i have a guy secret oh this shit is probably gonna disgust you <laughs> nice what is it? i can handle it all right so sometimes uh we don't wash our boxes sometimes we we sniff them we've been uh, doing this. Uh, oh this is not that bad the sniff test yeah We've oh. been new. Y'all are disgusting. You use like the same ball towel for like your face and shit. Like, but no, 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 no. no That's I, a Jimmy secret no, no, now. No, no, no. That is a Jimmy we, saying I, secret. I use different parts of my towel for my like. like I know, I know. This edge is for my balls. You don't, do get, you know? you don't get confused. Is, is it consistently my... like that, or every day a no. new edge? No, no, no. no. It's consistently <laughs> every day it's it's new edge. Yeah, the every that ball edge, edge is going I'm, on his face I'm, at some point. No, no, no. Do you mark you, it? I think, I, I think maybe it, it's gone on my face. <laughs> don't know. lie, man. you use like the bottom left corner for your balls, and then the next it's day, the next day you you swap it by accident. No, I don't swap it. No, I know the exact. You, you fold the towel the exact same every time. No, I don't. Exactly. He's, that bald edge has gone on his face. The yeah. asshole edge has gone in his mouth at some point. <laughs> you know what? Probably. <laughs> you know what? 
And, and that's fine, because at the end of the, the, the my shower routine, mm. my balls smell just as good as my face. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they even out and the yeah. smell is. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're yeah. right. He wakes up with pink eye. <laughs> What do, you, what do you think is the most dis- disgust? What do you think is the most disgusting thing that guys do? Um, man, you you, 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 you toss out like three, four different questions. Yeah. How, how about how about the how about the the the, the, the questions you had for guys first? Yeah, no. I was asking that you skip over mine. Yeah. <laughs> so. I think it's really gross that guys will like put their dick in anything. What like you, you every guys put their dick in something weird. What? <laughs> What's something weird? I don't know, like a grapefruit, like. A pocket pussy. Pocket pussies are weird. Can we talk about that? Have y'all used one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, they have. But here's the tea, okay? I only learned this recently. <laughs> Girls, if you're listening, uh, they have to boil the pocket pussy to like use it properly. Wait, what? Like you boil it so that it's like warmer and it feels like more realistic. No. Imagine you're like a guy, any guy. That's how you get the egg. Imagine the guy that you like boiling his pocket pussy just so he can use it. I've never heard that. No, that's a thing. This is one guy I was like talking to him about it and he was like, so yeah. He, 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 he'll, he'll get a fucking pan and just he, put, like, put it A man the- really took a pan that he uses for cooking, puts water in it and then like boils the water and you throw the pocket pussy in there. That sounds interesting. I wouldn't do it. No, uh, I'm hold just, on. I, I think more if you could, you could probably like boil lube and then use the lube. But it's not as warm to, as like, or is it? Y'all could tell me since you have so much experience. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's. I think that would be more efficient. Nah, boiling a pocket V is crazy. <laughs> but I have used it. No, it, it's it's amazing. <laughs> um, it, was, it was incredible, better than anything was, I've ever yeah, seen yeah. in my entire but life. I think the weird. Why was it place, amazing? Huh? Why was it amazing? Because it has- You don't got to buy the drink. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it was one of those like 3,000 like pocket pussy pocket <laughs> pocket <laughs> like, it's like It's like this big and like blue and you got to plug it into the wall. It's a hard It has like a sport it's simulation. Hard. It's kind of see-through on one, one side of it. As an it's image 7, of- 7,000. It's 7,000. All right. All right. <laughs> Get the level right. Do you think but, Jimmy would be the type to, to own one? Clearly. like right. I wouldn't have guessed it to be honest. And, I, I thought you'd be the type to like try it once, not- Owned one that had like fifty seven thousand features with different pulsing. Cause yeah. it, cause it's I, I guess sponsored by them, and uh-huh. yeah. So I did once. No, I did. I I was I was like, let me get that one. Let me get three of them so my boys could use it too. Man, that's kind of crazy. Bro, why, why are you not part of this? Cause I gave you one. I used it once and I was like, this shit is ass. You didn't like it? Nah. Damn. Well, one, it wasn't like too much information. It wasn't wide enough. <laughs> All right, big man. He had to let him there. All right, Godzilla. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, word. yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, it was too big. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't touch. I didn't see anything. It was too long too. He was really like, felt like the long. need to put that in. <laughs> no, because he's like, I used it. I was like, I tried. Yep, tried. Too big. It was too My, huge. I'm, I'm too, I'm too big. Hot dog down the hallway. I. What's, what's the weirdest thing you put your dick into? Um. I think for me it was like- See, the, look, he has a weird thing I, in his head. I, I think for me it was the crevice- I'm a very curious person. The okay? crevice on my couch. Uh, yes, that was, that was mine. Right, I think I, I was in middle school and my boys put me on. We had a conversation and I naturally, I was like, oh, it's the, it's the most amazing. It's like, you're, you're fucking someone. I'm like, oh, I can't fuck someone right now. Who am I gonna fuck? You put it I'm wrong? in seventh grade. Right? So, no, 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 not wrong. So yeah, she's I, so confused. So, so, so now I go back to my living room couch. I'm looking at it. I'm like, huh, how is this going to work? What you had, they didn't tell you how it works? Well, I see the crevice in between the cushions, right? You clapped the, the cushion. couch wrong? Yeah. No, no, no. Not, wait, what, you put a condom? No, there's a way to do it. That, that, well, I'm a very curious person. When my boys told me they did this, I was like, and then I'm home. I'm like, let me, let me try this. Nobody's home. And it's like, okay, this feels mad weird explaining, but they, they take like a glove, right? Uh. And then you get like a, like a towel and you put it over the glove and then you kind of like flip it over. Oh. Yeah. And, and, then, then, and, then, and, then, I, and then you put that in between the couch. The couch. No lube? Then you put lube. Like lotion or something? Yeah. What is this fucking wild science experience? That is a really I crazy- so I, was, I was like, huh? Ladies, you wanna- Bro, it's, this is 10 fucking different steps. I see a cushion, I'm like, all right. Yeah, but that's not enjoyable. <laughs> huh? That's not- No, it definitely wasn't. I but, know. So I, I don't know what they talk about. 
Because you didn't do it right. Huh? They didn't put you on correctly. My boys were like, he was talking about like it was the best thing in the world. And I was like, that was fire. Do you, you did it? I did it. It wasn't fire, but I was like, okay, this is, I mean, at that point I didn't have sex. So right. I was still a virgin. So I was just so like, like, oh, this is the closest thing I'm going to get. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm sleeping with girls, I'm not going to be fucking a couch. <laughs> so I was down bad. I was right. like, whatever. And I was like, okay, let me see how my boys did it. And then. <laughs> Ladies, if you want to get the egg, just imagine the guy that you like putting a towel, his a mom's couch. towel. We relax. I, we into, were in seventh grade. All right. Into a glove and putting a lotion. Oh, his come mother's on. lotion that she purchased. Don't for even him get to me started. Have smooth skin. And he I feel like girls be using couch. weird things. They use like like their their like eyeliner case and just. Loki. Or, or maybe your fucking electric, <laughs> electric toothbrush. Oh, that'd be a good vibrator. Leave them yeah. alone. Though. How else are they getting satisfied? Well, you know what they use? They use like the shower head, the adjustable one, and they just. Ah, who told you that? Ah, <laughs> girl secret. <laughs> yeah, well, let them be. If Have you? Yes or no? Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's, that's violently. I, I'll say. <laughs> We're going to leave it. <laughs> We're gonna leave she it. goes to Airbnb and she specifically searches for shower heads. Imagine High power shower heads. <laughs> this one. This the one. Airbnb guy messages you guys being like, yo, the water bill is kind of high. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. No, I will say a lot of girls really, really enjoy it. It wasn't all that. You know what I mean? The shower head? <laughs> like, yeah. It was more of like, I just wanted to see the feeling and then like just left it. Because right. it didn't do anything. But some girls really love it. What's the weirdest thing you've done with an inanimate an, an object? I'm, I'm not going to specify. Oh, we specify you can't. No, oh, that's, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that is. Like I didn't nice. tell you how to go that deep. <laughs> True, we open books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was so long ago. Like that's yeah. that's not even me anymore. It's too open sometimes. Yeah, no, it's okay. That's the best. Makes you guys lovable. But, we can still cut it out. But but but, but, but <laughs> no, no, we're not. We're not cutting uh, it out. <laughs> what else? I think that we, we just got to one. Um, one what? Guy secret. What, yeah. What what other uh, guy secrets would you wanna wanna find out? Mm. Okay, mm, I do, don't, this isn't really a guy secret, but more of just understanding guys. Uh, what is like the, what is the moment that a guy will realize whether he like wants to pursue a girl more seriously or just says like a hookup vibe? Pursue a girl more seriously. I think the one to two dates is kind of enough to like see potential. <laughs> the beautiful guy, <laughs> he didn't see it. <laughs> I think if I see marks of more traditional values. Like? Oh. One I don't like girls that like expect things. Oh, she, maybe she's like, maybe bring me a gift. Maybe she's caring about my friends. Thoughtfulness. Maybe she, thoughtfulness. Maybe all of us, after we hook up the morning, after there's a plate of food next to my bed. What the <laughs> You Y'all are really big on this cooking thing. My bad. I don't eat meat. That's all Jimmy. That's you don't have to do this. You didn't have to do. Do you know how to cook? I do. Just... I'm a really good cook, actually. But I just yeah. So the next man that you hook up and you have a crush on, yo, I should make him food. Make him breakfast in bed. Yeah. I promise you, that shit goes a long fucking way. Yeah, I'll make yeah. him food. I make a really good pad thai. I won't lie. Oh. I'm very delicious. Right. That's I new. No, no, That's see, new. Now, now, granted, pad thai, uh-huh. you need like very specific ingredients, mm-hmm. right? So you have to, the guy that you're hooking up with, maybe you, you end up at his spot. You have to make do with whatever the fuck is in his fridge. See, I'm really good at it though. That's something, another skill of mine. Two skills of mine I'm very confident in. Directions, uh-huh. proven. Mm-hmm. Um, and then- um, Cooking, unproven. Co- <laughs> cooking, I am. Very good at it too. Even you could improvise though. Like you I see what, you, whatever yeah. is in his fridge, like, oh, there's I, a really piece of butter at- and one egg. And a buffalo Yo. sauce and a chicken. <laughs> 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 that is literally every man's like fridge. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I'm, my specialty is seasoning. I'm really good at knowing what seasonings taste good together. Mm, okay. So I can take like, if you have like a bunch of random seasoning, which guys don't have, guys, just get Italian pepper and maybe some red, red one, red seasoning, red pepper seasoning. That is all you need for anything to taste good. I got like 30. So really? Yeah, you can check after. <laughs> all right, cool. But um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I can, I think I could do it. I make a really good ramen too, which okay. I guess I didn't get to show you guys. Unfortunately. I know. That, like I, That's all we had at the yeah, crib. Yeah, that's all we had. <laughs> no, but everyone else was already making it. Vit made it the first night, like yeah. so immediately. He made it for everybody. What am I going to do? Be like, get do out of my quicker. room. Oh, whatever. No, Vit, I got it. And Vit did made it really good. So. I'm not gonna lie, like like every guy took so much initiative yeah. to did. just like 
Like Every. fucking t- like this morning, I was the one, no 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 nobody brought this up. But yeah, I was I cleaned up all the fucking. Was that time. you? Yes. Wow, good job, Judy. Yes. There yes. you go. I'm sorry I didn't see. If I seen it, I would have given you credit for Please. it. Yeah. The, credit. the rest of the, the guys watching yeah, hype this. Yeah, hype yourself up. I yeah. had to hype myself up, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, I also bought the the fucking the the the, the little wagon thing that that took us to. They did do that. See, the men all paid for everything. They loved that it. shit. Was so not worth it. Was it the one that was two seconds? Yeah, it was like it was like, it was Wait, like was ten it the, seconds. Was it day three or day? Oh, the day three one, right? Yeah, it was the, the day, day three, three one. one was worth it, man. Did okay. you see how long that was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was so hot that day. Were you with us for that? Mm, or were you with you, you were, Nick you and were, them? You were, you were. Yeah, you yeah, were with yeah. us. Yes, that walk. I felt so good. See treacherous. everybody walking. Yeah, mm-hmm. treacherous. Since we gassing ourselves up. Go. I bought do? I bought fans and a towel for the girls. He, and he was fanning everybody in the crowd. He fanned me so many times, yeah. which I appreciated. And then afterwards, I bought more fans so you guys could fan each other and keep it to yourselves. And then I bought a blanket that they could keep warm at night. You did that? Yeah. You, did you buy that red blanket? Yep. Wow. See? I even I didn't even say anything. That's okay. Hype mm. yourselves up because sometimes. Nah. So it, might, it might go unnoticed. We have That's one fine, brain though. cell that we are kind of collectively sharing right now. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure if we'd filmed this in a week, we probably would have been able to name things better. I have one thing. Talking about like uh, motherly traits in a girl. I, I think like a fire, like if we're like chilling at home, I think if she like brings like some groceries and like cooks, That'd I think cute. that's that's not cute. Yeah. Because I'm the type to like want to help and like follow and, and cook together. And then if she just knows what she's doing. I'm just like, and then when you taste the food, you're just like, oh. I don't, I hate cooking with men. Cause I'm just Why? like, cause I'm just very like, I'm the type when I'm in the kitchen, I'm very like, leave me alone. I'll do it. Like yes. I can do it. I'll be back in 30 minutes. And do Is the that dishes. good though? Is that a good thing? That's fine. I'll, I'll do the dishes. Oh, remember, you want to know what this guy had said? The pretty boy. Um, he literally, when we were talking, I told him, I was like, oh, I'm a great cook. I, I'll make us a pad thai one day. But then I was like, but I was like, but I hate dishes. That's why I don't cook that much because I hate dishes. No, I do cook a lot now because I live alone. But um, he was like, okay, how about you cook and I'll wash the dishes. I was like, oh, that was fire. That was a good thing to say. Yep. Yeah. Another thing that would win any guy's hearts, I think, is getting to know what he does on, like, just getting to know his routine and what he does, you, you'll you know what he cares about and then contribute to that. Yeah. So for for example, <clears throat> like leisurely, maybe he likes to play video games, right? Hopefully you play video games with him together, right? Enjoy that time together. Let's say <laughs> uh, he likes to read, find out what, what, kind of, what, kind of, what kind of books he likes to mm-hmm. read. Maybe one day gift him a book of that genre. Yeah. Uh, I think so like, like small like so. little gifts might go a lot. Y'all want to hear something? What? My ex, he can literally die, to be honest. I hate that man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean it for real, guys. That's just something I say. Please yeah, don't take it too seriously. But hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't wish to do upon anyone, but it's just something I say. Um, I'm such a thoughtful person when it comes to, I'm going to hide myself up here. One do thing it. I pride myself in a lot is I give really good gifts and I show my love by giving you a present. Mm. And I like to get to know people so well and then like send them a present based on that. That's beautiful. It's yeah. like a motherly trait. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, um, I don't know, like this, what, like my first time in LA, I was actually talking to Pretty Boy at the time mm. and like I got him like a little LA keychain and he loved it. He was mm. so excited. And then when he, he went to New York, he got me a New York keychain. which was ah, like, That's cute. Yeah. Nice. And then, um, and then this other guy, he was like going through some stuff and he likes, he kind of liked crystals and stuff, but he wasn't like religious about it, but like he liked it. So I made him like a little crystal necklace based on what would help what he was going through. Mm. Like he was stressed about like work and stuff. So I found like a crystal that would like be good for that. And I made it like a necklace for him. Yeah. But uh, this stupid idiot, ungrateful oh, piece oh, of oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Table go, shaking. Go, yeah, yeah, go, go off, go off. So it was, I think it was Christmas, okay? And... I was trying to get him a gift and we'd been talking for like maybe a month at this point, which maybe that is a little soon to get a present, but no. I show people I care. I don't think it was ever soon to get yeah. First day I'd be giving presents. Yeah, so it was um, it was like, so Christmas time came around and then I, I like put so much thought and effort into getting him a good gift. His favorite show was um, Downton Abbey. So I found this freaking like rare Downton Abbey thing, Damn. got him that. And then around that time, he Downtown was- Downtown and Abbey? Downtown Abbey, yeah. It's okay. Like show. And then ar- he around that time, he had been telling me about how um, his back had been hurting a lot from work. Mm. So I got him a little back massager too. Yeah. And then I got him one more thing, but he literally, like when he got the gifts, he was like, 
oh, thank you. And then like put it to the side. Didn't even get me a present. Yeah. It's for Christmas? Yeah. I was so upset. I was like, man. Wasn't that terrible? Like, yeah. I literally put so much love into that present. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And nothing. Okay, so that's a little tricky, right? Being that you've only been seeing him for a month. Oh, okay. I don't think so. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me just... Okay, yeah, you got some. Yeah, you yeah. got some. Yeah. Um, and a month is maybe just a little too early <laughs> for him to... Uh, maybe, maybe a month and a half. It wasn't just, I think it might have been like a month and a half. Okay. But, but, but you know, but at that point, you guys weren't boyfriend, girlfriend yet. Maybe. But you we guys, were seeing each other a lot of the time. Like we were Maybe you guys out. weren't exclusive. Maybe he was still talking to somebody else. We were exclusive. Unless he lied to me. I don't know. But he had expressed that we were working towards like boyfriend, girlfriend. Oh. Lives, you know? And like. We were seeing each other like every other day, texting all the time. I'd visit him at work and like all this stuff. Like, so it was just like. Now, I'm, now, 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 look, maybe you got him the, those, those presents, right? Mm -hmm. He didn't get you anything. But the following days, he's like, you know what? Fuck, I'm like a dickhead. Why did it I? Then he goes on and buys you a, pr like, right? Because at, at that point, maybe you, you, you might get hit with something. You're like, fuck, I didn't get anything. Babe, it, it's coming. Yeah. Just, just you wait. It's just a couple days. Like, ah, I wish I had it today, yeah. but the fuck, delay, Amazon yeah. delay. I shipping. love hearing that. The <laughs> classic. Yeah, it's, it's still shipping. It's still in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> right? Three weeks but, later. But, but, but see, but see, that would actually save him, right? If, like, the thing is, especially in a situation ship type vibe like that, had he had eventually got me something, uh -huh. I would have been so grateful. Uh -huh. He never gave me shit. Damn. And it wasn't even that. It was That's the fact he that reacted. There, it was the fact that there was such little gratitude for it too. Uh -huh. Like I was out here stressing, thinking about, okay, he said like, like me caring about him. Reading I'm, all the text logs, like, oh yeah. No, he'd like, he's like just told me that he really likes Downton Abbey and he's like expressed that. I started watching the stupid ass show for him uh -huh. so that we could talk about it. And like, I gave it a try for him so that him and I would the like- The show suck? I, it wasn't my vibe. I'm uh, sure other people yeah, like it. It's sure, very sure, um, sure. Um, medieval kind of vibe or like really uh, old times. Yeah. That's not my vibe. Yeah. I'm sure it's a good show. But then like, uh, it was just like the fact that I put so much care into trying to find something for him to yeah. like. Yeah. And then like his back hurting. I didn't want him to that, have that. Like, so I was like, what can I get him that like, even if I wasn't around, he could still like soothe yeah. that. And to have the reaction of like, oh, thank you. And then leave it. Yeah. Yeah. Like show me that you can't, like you you yeah. see the effort I put into this. You want to hear, you want like a, oh, how'd you know? Yeah. What? And then try the back thing right there. And oh, then, oh, yeah, it oh feels my so God. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, pick me up, spin me around yeah. a little bit. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. I'm not telling you to buy me the world. Just like, Show me that you like see the effort I put in. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel you know that. What I mean, I remember th this girl that I was dating just for a little bit, like I think two, three weeks after initially meeting her, she she wrote me uh uh fuck yeah, like a not a letter a, a book a pamphlet, a, a pamphlet yeah. where she like wrote out all the things like oh I know what, what you've been going through Jimmy it's really tough. And just, I just want to let you know you could get through it. And like, you, you know, you, you've been telling me about, like, it was, it was actually like extensive too, like three pages. And I cried. I saw that. I started crying. Really? Yes. I was like, I only know you for two weeks, but you know, that you paid attention to this much of what I said to you mm -hmm. and you wrote it out and just in, in such encouraging words. I, I'm like, I don't think anybody is. <laughs> I'm rolling. Yeah. Did that make you feel like deeper feelings for her? Yes, but then I've, I, I violently Wait, fumbled it. I violently oh, fumble? fumbled that. This Wait, is. What, what's a... I violently. See, I would do that, that, but I have kind of messy handwriting, so I feel like they'd be kind of icked. No, no, no. Was this the I older girl? Oh no no no! It's not like, this this I remember she it was this nurse girl that mm. I, I dated for a little bit. Um, I remember it was in such good handwriting. There was not a single uh, like. Oh, see. So I feel like she almost maybe wrote it out in pencil and like traced it with pen or some shit. 
Yeah, or probably maybe, got like halfway and started over. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe she bought. It was I, that good, right? Did, like, there was no mistakes. It was in pen. It was no mistakes, and it was like, <clears> like, like, fucking. Like I mean, she ran through. It. I mean, she did that for multiple. No, days. no, no. I, yep. I know her body count. <laughs> I'm kidding. Unless she lied. I'm just Unless she lied. Unless she lied. I'm, just I'm, just I'm, just I'm sure she was honest. She seems like a nice yeah. girl. Yeah, Why? Yeah, Have you ever lied about your body count? Um, no, but no. I. Is it weird if a guy asked that? Like, I like when. Maybe like the first couple of times. Like if friends ask, I don't think it's that weird. Uh-huh. But um, if like guy friends, because I asked too. Like I, I'm just assuming uh-huh. like that. But like um, <coughs> if you're seeing a guy, not immediately. They shouldn't ask immediately. That is crazy. sure, sure, sure. I like further in. I think it's fair. But I've heard some guys tell their girlfriends, like my friends who recently got in relationships, they told me their boyfriend said, "Don't tell me your body count because I won't be able to stop thinking about it." Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> like they'll like yeah. I thought it was earlier on. I, I thought like girls are. Because I think girls are more afraid to ask for a guy's body count. I'm not afraid to ask, but I will be disgusted by certain numbers. What's disgusting? What's the disgusting range? I'm not judging. Live your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I personally just think like at my age, around my age, if you're over 50, calm down. That's just like a lot of people. Like really think about it. 50, 50 people is a quite a bit. That's like 10 a year. I'm assuming you started like at 19 yeah, or 18. at a certain age. I don't know. I think like anything around like the twenties, that's like kind of normal range. Yeah. But you know. What if I, you got two? Huh? What if you got two? Oh, you little over there. Is that bad that I low key think that might be sort of icky? Icky, just a little bit. On what grounds? Like, okay, like if okay, for, he if can't, he can't clap on shit. If <laughs> <laughs> he can't hit my shit, yeah, right? Yeah, he's not gonna satisfy. Uh, okay, me. If yeah. it's from because they've had long serious relationships, yeah. that's fine. Mm-hmm. But if, if they haven't, it's no, just, he just had two one night stands. <laughs> <laughs> it's just um, he still can't find girls the barely get it as is. Like girls yeah. don't finish like ninety nine percent of the time. Like blah blah blah. So it's just like kind of like she's probably gonna be thinking like I'm not gonna get much out of this. Mm. He's uh, done yeah. it a very limited amount of time. But I will say from what I've heard, guys who've been in long term relationships are usually the best. Yeah, I want to apologize to my body. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. That I gave them just all it's subpar, probably drink. weak dick. Definitely. And probably number seven. So, like, I didn't, I, yeah. And eight. And nine. No, 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 no. And eight, 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 10, eight, 11, and 12, eight, and 13. I believe was the girlfriend that yeah. finally, all right, it was still whack dick at first. Yeah. But then it became so, like, Much gradually better. a lot better. And I think the first time, most of the time, it, it, it does suck. For, I don't know you. Teach her. You know, yeah. I just. That's why I don't love the idea of one night stands. I'm not. Yeah, and it's it might be a little awkward, right? I might be a little drunk. I might have whiskey. Day. It's just like that's one night stands, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but then th- there might be some flings where it's just immediate like passion, and you guys get. Isn't into it, it crazy to think about how like there's people that like you've had such immediate fiery passion with, uh-huh. and then now you just like don't talk to them, and like y'all just don't. I was thinking about that. That's just a oh, part of life, yeah. I have a question. Okay. So when y'all like, let's say like hook up with a girl, do you ever just like, if you're with her, do you ever just look at her and think like, damn, her titty's been in my mouth before? Like that kind of if, stuff. If I hooked up with a girl before? Yeah. And then like, you're just hanging out with them. Oh, 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 it becomes a casual friendship later on. Yeah, or something. Just along those lines, or you see them out somewhere. Like, yeah. You um, all think like that ever? No, no, not like always, but like. Like a passing thought, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah, not that's that happened, deep, it's happened. But yeah, it, it's like the contrast. And it may, may, it, we, we might tell the boys. <laughs> like <Yeah>. what? <laughs> tell them what? <laughs> I had a titty that's in my mouth before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm kidding. Titty to be in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you've ever said that to me, yeah, <laughs> Jimmy no, Cafe. No. But I'm so, not. I'm not. I'm not munching titties. It pops up in thought, though. Actually, maybe. No, for the most part, I yeah. You don't. That that's that's. Reserved. For Wifey type stuff? Yeah, for me to like have a good, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a, like a mouthful and oh, have okay. the real like- This is such a male podcast. Like this conversation- <laughs> Yeah, I'm, so- I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. We, no, no, we, no, 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 we, no, no, we, continue, we, continue. No, no, I'm just no, saying no, it's fast forward. Yeah, yeah, No, no, no. It's great. We love it. You guys are very vulnerable and open. Your viewers are going to love it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, mouthful of titties. Yeah. Girlfriend. It's nice. Yeah. For sure. For sure. No, no. One night stands have. I have. I have sucked. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> what? What about me? Titty succulation. How are, are, you, are we? Are you a? Are you a? A, a titty, titty, titty sucker? On on. 
I don't like find pleasure in it, but I do it if it like turns other person on. That's why y'all do it. Y'all don't even enjoy it. No, just nah, me. That's, that's just him. me. Just me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're the weirdo. Oh sure. What's the difference between when a guy calls a girl cute, beautiful, or bad? Like how categorize those? Cute, girls? Mm. beautiful, or bad? Yeah. What's the difference okay. between those girls? Okay, cute. You you have a cute face. You might. Yeah, you're lacking a little bit, right? Cute. You got no titties. You got no titties. I'm sorry. You got you got mosquito bites. Uh, and then beautiful is. You got titties. You might have B cups. <laughs> okay. Right, but it, the titties don't really matter that much. But it's really about your face and your eyes and how essential. Like if I look into your eyes and it's just. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. right? Your eyes is very telling of that word, beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then bad, titties. Titties is in there. So bad I, is more body based. It, uh, bad is more body based. Okay. And it's usually from a girl from my Instagram Explore page. Oh, she bad. She bad. She bad. Okay. Right. I would. It would be like a like a like a group bonding. Mo like I show it to a boy. Yo, she bad. Okay. I'm not. I'm not going to my boy. Yo, she's beautiful, bro. <laughs> She is absolutely gorgeous. Right? Yeah. And then beautiful is usually I'm saying it to my girlfriend or I just have like a genuine admiration for her beauty. Okay. All right. And and then cute is I don't know when I would use cute. Maybe just yeah, just girls that look that look cute. And I might not even like want to fuck cute. I, I just you know, I might just oh she she's cute, right? That that might also be a very like the lowest form of a compliment for a girl. Cute? Uh, nah. Yeah, she's cute. Damn, I get to love cute all the time. <laughs> for me, it's different. Huh? So so <laughs> now, now, now maybe for me is I'm not generalizing. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I think I think mm -hmm. my personality makes me cute. That's what I think. But mm -hmm. at least you're getting cute, right? Because mm -hmm. if she's not cute, you you she's you not get anything, yeah. right? Comment which one I am. <laughs> cute, pretty, cute, beautiful, or bad. All right, I, we okay, can take bad out okay, of the Okay, what, what's your definition? Because my, my shit is all over the place. Yeah, I feel like cute is a little more like innocent looking, but still like cute and like- Japanese so we, girls, we just wanna, cute. You just want to pinch your cheeks. Yeah. Like probably like small and like bubbly and stuff. I think beautiful kind of comes in when they're like a little bit older. Okay. So I think girls that are like younger to me, like they're cute, whatever. But like if they look more conventionally attractive, like model looking or like well put together, mm -hmm. model. I think models are like beautiful. Yeah. I think like regular girls that you like, we know, like there are some models we know, but I think I don't really call a girl beautiful unless like she's just like a model or she's like my girl or something. And then bad is like, Hot. I don't know you, but you bad, like banging body, cute face. You dress well and you explore page like they're, they're bad. What like, about pretty? Pretty? Pr Ooh, so pretty is super wholesome. Nah, pr I, I think I've it's like my go to when I'm just complimenting my girlfriend. Oh, look, you look so pretty today. Okay. At random moments, oh, you look so you pretty. You guys would never describe like a girl you're not with that was pretty? Uh, I would say so. Uh, no, pretty, I've always used for girls I'm seeing, dating, or just, yeah, I don't know if I've like- Pretty? Me. I don't know. Like, oh baby, you look I, so pretty today. I think today. pretty is, is, such a, is such a go to compliment. That's like a friend zone compliment. No, it's not. I would call a girl like, I wouldn't call like the girl homies like cute. Or sometimes I do, but like, you, like, you look cute, but like, you, oh, you look pretty. It's more You're like- right. pretty is less. more friends, friends vibes, yeah. for sure. Like if the, if, the, if the homie's like, like she's like, oh, how do I look? I'm like, oh, you look pretty today, yeah. You're right, that is a very- Cute is like, oh, you know. What? Oh, you look beautiful. Like, you know, oh, you bad. Yeah. Like, now, nah, <laughs> yeah, pretty is like- if, if you look at me like, you look bad, I'd be like, oh, okay. Oh, word. Uh, <laughs> I'm untagging you in the story. Yeah. <laughs> NPC, yeah. congratulations. <laughs> Demoted. Yeah. What, 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 which, which one ha have you been called? Um. In what situations? Mm, I'm trying to think. I get to- uh, I've gotten beautiful sometimes. I get told I have good eyes, which is nice. But I don't, I mean, I have wear contacts. So I mean, I always right. have to be like, contact. Yeah. But I think I, I do um, flirt with my eyes quite a bit. Uh. So I think that's where it comes in. You got iris? Hmm? I do have iris. What's your iris? 
I can do that holding the eye contact really well. Yeah, I don't get nervous with eye contact. And I like when a guy gets a little nervous and breaks the eye contact because uh, I feel like I hold all the power. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not to sound super dominant or anything, but uh, like. Super it, dominant. There's, I have my occasional dominant moments where I'm like, like that's one of them. Like yeah. if I can hold eye contact with you and you break it, I'm like, <laughs> I got you wrapped around my finger <laughs> right now. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? I think I get, I get cute quite a bit, to be honest. Uh-huh. But I think it's because it's a lot of my. um personality trait i think so because uh-huh. i think i have um i don't know i think i do things that are like QT. yeah not to mm-hmm. toot my own horn but toot toot you know mm-hmm. i think mm. um what about on, on the flip side for for guys right uh-huh. what's the difference between cute handsome what else would we, would we get fine fine so i've never gotten fine um <laughs> i've never gone bad okay <laughs> hot hot <laughs> hot like we don't use hot that hot. much, to be honest. No. I think those three is it. What do girls use to describe guys? What well, type those, of like those, words? Those fine and cute the most. Fine, and then cute, and, and handsome. Okay. Attractive? Uh, yeah, we don't really use that that much. No, uh-huh. I think these three. We'll use yeah. the core three. Um, so what was the first one? <clears throat> cute. The first one is cute. Then cute. it's handsome. Then it's fine. Okay. Cute, I think, is more um, their essence, sort of. Like mm-hmm. they're good looking. And I think... Um, Guys who have that boyish look, like they have the younger look a little bit, uh-huh. they get cute quite a bit. Yeah, like the right. guy from Metro Boomin, he's cute. He's very, very okay, cute. Okay. But mm-hmm. then, and he just had a really like a pure aura to him, I guess. Mm-hmm. And like when I was hearing about how he was talking to her and stuff, it was very like respectful. Mm-hmm. So that's when you'd get like cute. Mm-hmm. Um, and then fine is like model gorgeous. Looking. Yeah. Like, model like pretty looking. boy, I'd describe him as Right, fine, right. That's you know? fine. Yeah. 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 Um, so that's just more just like aesthetically okay. looking. What's like a flirty way a girl would call someone handsome? You are very handsome. Uh, I feel like in person you could tell better. Mm. Like if she's like, oh my God, you look so handsome. Like, okay. you know, that would be flirty. Right, right, like that's how I would do it. Because mm-hmm. if I'm What like, about over, over text? Like how could you? <laughs> it's like, oh, hypothetically. Um, <laughs> Maybe some emojis with it. Yeah. Like a, mm. dro- like a drooling emoji. Honestly, I kind of think if she, the less words she puts, the more that's flirty. Like, I think like a, you're so handsome is like. Yeah. Intent. Like yeah. say the reason why I think that's friendly was the way that she, I felt like she was almost like, she obviously wasn't thinking that deep into it, but like by adding like 10 out of 10, very handsome. Like, yeah, you know, it's like, like quirky. It was just, it was just being like silly. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. a silly vibe. I think that's like, that's like personality into it, but not yeah. like intent. Like that's how I would, I would probably compliment my guy friends like that. Mm. But she definitely means it. She definitely means that you look handsome. I am. Yeah. 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 But, um, yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't, like, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't, I'm not breathing into anything. <laughs> He's like, I didn't uh, think about it all week. <laughs> nope. yeah. I didn't screenshot it and uh, hang it on my wall. Yeah. I didn't print it out and give a copy of it to everybody. <laughs> yeah, I know. yeah, I wasn't thinking about it. I didn't brag about it to the boys. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> think about it every single night. <laughs> I didn't dream about her and I's future together and how we're going to raise our kids. <laughs> um, but I think. A lot of the times, um, like for me, if I'm interested in someone, but I'm not like 100%, like, you know, let's, mm. whatever. Because um, also sometimes girls just don't know if the guy's really interested at all. Okay. You know what gets the interest out? Drinking. <laughs> Drinking gets the interest out. Mm. Girls, if you want to know if a guy likes you or is interested in you. Drink with him. Yeah. With him. Now, why is it that most girls like don't like the, the meetup and getting drinks? How many drinks you think would it take to get that shit out? Because sometimes a little, like one margarita isn't going to get the, but right? But like maybe three, four drinks and that's when you actually. I think, I don't know if it's how many drinks. I think the drink. I think white wine will get anything out of anybody. I'm white like, wine? I don't know what it is. Write that down. Or like couple bottles of that. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I come here, there's just white wine everywhere. You guys have a whole white wine fridge. Yeah. It's like, no. Sahar, which one do you want? <laughs> but I swear, I think three glasses is a sweet spot for girls at least. Three so glasses of wine? Glasses? Of white wine, yeah. I don't know what it is. The what power white wine holds. It's someone else. By mm. the, by, by the she third. She giving us a secret. No, by the third cup, I'm going to just wait for the. <laughs> so, uh, how do you think I look today? <laughs> Could you describe me as handsome, fine? Yeah, answer this quiz. 
It's multiple choice. Cute, <laughs> handsome, oh. fine. Did I give you fuck me eyes? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a death note. You, you're just waiting on the time. Yeah. Oh, when does it you're start like, kicking? She finishes second. with her glass. Pull like, Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once she takes the last sip. <laughs> you're like, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> Has a guy ever given you a fuck me eyes? Um. Like, can you tell the difference between eye contact that guys give you? Mm, yeah. I think when I can tell when a guy's like, um, like trying to be sensual, but yeah, not my situation. So it's not like I have a lot of that. But um, I think it's when they do with it's the eye contact, they'll do like an up and down and then they'll also do like a lip bite at some point. And I'm like, mm. okay, I'm in. I always felt like the lip bite was cringy. I don't know. It's cringy if you do it wrong. And, oh, yeah, it's also cringy if you I just feel we're doing it. If, if the Maybe girl isn't into you. I don't, th- yeah. I don't think it's something you do, like, you try to do. I think it's more of, like, something that, like, they're just like, it's a reaction. Wow, you're so fucking fine. I can't help but bite my lip. Oh, uh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I always find it cringy because I never do it. Sometimes. Maybe don't if I'm, like, it licking my feel lips. Natural, yeah, no, I've never done it, but I just, mm-hmm. like, yeah, I don't know if people do it, like, intentionally because mm-hmm. I don't never feel, like, the need to do it. Like, like just without thinking unconsciously. I think when I bite my lip, it's always unintentional. I've never been like, let me bite my lip right now. It's more of just like a, you know? So when you bite your lip, you're like, what are you thinking? I, I think it's more of just like a natural reaction. Like if someone tickled you, you laugh, you know? If someone's like a really fine, make me feel tickled. You just bite your lip? Back, so That's no. interesting. Yeah. Uh, interesting. When was the last time you bit your lip? <laughs> uh, it's been a very long time. Damn. February. February. Probably, yeah. That's not, that's not long. Like, yeah. No, no, no. But like prior to, you, you know, I told you guys what happened. Yeah, February, yeah, yeah. yeah. But hmm. yeah. All right. Well, I think. Do uh, you have any questions for us? I feel like I'm good. Do you have any more questions? Or is that it? I, yeah, I, that's, I'm, well, I'm out. I think. How long was that? How, how long have we been going for? Two hours and eight minutes. Damn. Yeah, that shit flew by. I just looked at it like two minutes ago. I was like, Damn. wow. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm actually, uh, I'm t- I-, I was sweating before coming here. Why? Because I barely had like the energy. shit, the, he- the energy, the shit ready. Yeah. Like the, you, you, you were asking like Jimmy, what topics are we doing? Yeah. Literally, I, the whole time I was like, I don't want to fucking know. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Uh, I, yeah, I didn't have it. Yeah, like, he was like, he was prepared. like, I will keep it a surprise. Like, don't worry. Yeah. Surprise! I don't I, know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have that any surprise. <laughs> yeah, I got the questions Kay. at home. <laughs> like Guys, the gift. I will say. We were very tired, Jimmy especially. He had a long day of driving and he still did this for you guys. So round of applause for Jimmy for doing that. Thank and you. Gabe thank too. You, thank you. Everybody yes. was very tired, but they still did it because they care about you guys so much and want to get content for you. We made oh. it through. We yeah. made it through. Oh. And it flew by. That was so fun. Yeah. I was kind of scared. I was like, the energy's going to be really bad on this. Like I thought people, because <laughs> bro, the way you, y'all were in the car, I was like, fuck. <laughs> oh, retired? Yeah. You especially. Oh, yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, we're about to do this and they're going to comment that this is the worst episode they've no, won. No, no, no. We, we, we know how to bring energy. it out of us. Yeah. Yeah. You did. Yeah. Midway through, I was like, damn, you would not have thought that these men were like <laughs> sleeping and throwing up the car. Like, <laughs> yeah. Still got the wrist. Still got the Coachella like, wristband on. So. That dentist felt like an hour, maybe not even. <laughs> Two hours? Fuck. Yeah. How's my dab up, be honest? No, that was cool. That was, was it? Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Maybe because you did the dabbing of the homies yeah. like, the whole weekend, but... <laughs> Honestly, I think I only did it like a couple times, but I was very and, proud of myself. And then sometimes, sometimes we, we don't we don't do this. We, we just okay, yeah. I was dapping up people in Canada, but I did it like that. I had a guy teach me how to do it properly because uh-huh. he said I dapped up silly. Uh-huh. So then, um, and then when I went back to Canada, I did it like that. Do it with me. He was no, uh, no, no, the uh, other uh, way. Uh, he was like, this? she was like, they were like, why are you hugging my thumb? <laughs> like, oh, man. they were like, they do it the way you said that. Oh, like that. this. Yeah. yeah, I think the thumb hug is good if you're like going for like a tap. Mm. And then sometimes it's like this, and then you bring it in. Yeah, that's when the thumb. That's yeah, when you grab yeah, the thumb. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. If it's like distance, it's like. Yeah, I love. Very yeah. fun. Hey, it was wonderful having you, Sahar. Thank you for having yeah. me. And it's like, due time. Like finally, it was. Right? It was about time. Yeah. Yeah. And please uh, follow Sahar on all please. social medias. <laughs> uh, and she has a podcast coming out real soon. Is that is it out? No, it's okay. not out yet, but it should be coming out soon. It is um, a very for the girls podcast. So mm. men, I don't know how much you'll love it. But for the girly pops who watch, make sure to watch it. It's going to be all in-depth details about anything girl related. And yeah, you'll love it. And, and plus, for the guys that are curious about right, what the girls right, the guys, about. Guys, look, look, I'm be tuning in. Just, <laughs> exactly. Learn because more it, about what they're thinking. Yeah. Yeah. So the first episode is going to be about my friend Brandon and I's dating history. So if y'all want to know the tea, you'll mm. want to see that. Mm. 
and just yeah, hear hear it from a, a girl's perspective. Like this is this is too much testosterone on this channel. There is a violent yeah. amount. I can't yeah. lie. Did you just even be here it. today? You felt <laughs> it, right? Yeah, I was like, wow, That's this is the most boyish stuff we've ever talked really? about. Really? Yeah. I mean, I feel like with guys, guys are usually fairly comfortable like talking with me about that right, kind right. of weird stuff. But it just really hit me when you were talking about the titty in the mouth. I was like, this is such a boyish <laughs> podcast. Yeah. Not that it's a bad thing. It is a boyish podcast. Yeah. So it well, you and the girls don't talk about like. I mean, maybe not to that. Not, extent. not, not, not in that to that explicit detail. But you did bring the titty sucking. Did I? Yeah, yeah you brought, you brought, oh, brought I it did. up. My and you're bad. Like, I'm curious. And, and then it's just like fuck. But I will it say just, that's how I talk with my girlies, and that uh, means I'm comfortable with you guys. The way I am with my girlies. Fuck yeah. Fire. Yeah. Are you comfortable with me like that? Nah. <laughs> you don't cook or clean, so. Yeah. I do cook, <laughs> and I clean when needed. When needed. Well, until until it's you know until we see it. Yep. Yep. Until and imagine if I just trip. cook for you guys right now and it was like terrible. Yeah, you cook a pad thai. We're in Thai town. I'm gonna go downstairs and get yeah. my own. You're like, yeah, it's great. Just rubs it up, runs downstairs. Here you go, Rex. <laughs> now, nah, bring, nah, bring it to the next group trip, and I promise you, all the boys will be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Next group trip, I'll cook for the group. We'll see. Let's do it. Yeah. Is that not kind of pick me though? What? To like cook for a group of men like that? No, it's just. Is it pick me for a guy to like? Like what Wu-Tak does? Or like, you know, what? calling an Uber for the group and stuff? No, that's not. Be, be yeah. a group leader? Yeah, no. Okay. No. Maybe next time. Next trip. Mm -hmm. Let me see what I could cook. I cook a vegan chicken parmesan too. Mm. I don't. That's fire. I use vegan chicken, too. but I, I could use real chicken for you guys, I suppose. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Bye. Bye.